Okay, so welcome to another night of the DXBL play-ins. I'm pretty excited about that. Also, my my camera is super off now. Why am I so far to the side? What's up with that? There we go. We are a little more centered now than we were. Come over and set up your place for streaming. Okay. Name, time, and place. We got 35 monsters tonight. We have 70 monsters in lightweight, less than middleweight and heavyweight, which is kind of surprising to me because lightweight has been statistically and historically the most popular of all the different brackets. So a little bit less, but you know, it makes my life a little bit easier. We're going to get out of here, home to our families before midnight. So that's pretty exciting. Thanks, Shells. Appreciate the 100 biddies. Before midnight cringe. I talk about cringe. Look at JP's fucking monster name. This is just a YouTube link. Nobody click on that. That shit probably gives you a virus. Okay, so first match of the night. Unfortunately, there's three six monsters who did not get a bye to the next round. Again, just random seating. I apologize, Evie. I apologize, Bagman, Alex, uh, Josiah. Nova and Cody. I'm pretty sure this monster is over the cap, so it's probably just going to get DQ'd. But, you know, we'll find out. Also, my, uh, why's my camera like that? Let's, uh, we don't want no hands. We don't know, we don't want a hand over here. Hello. None of that. Okay, so first match of the night. We got Stinky and Gummel. I'm a fan of Gummel. I needed like more monitors though. Ones I have, you know, it's nice, but I need more. Did I see what the YouTube vid is? No, I didn't. I refuse to check it. I will die before I check that YouTube video. Did UFO applied for lightweight division? It's Eskar Guru. Okay, what was it? Stinky and Gummel. Is Stinky the monkey? Oh, it's the Kato. I'm a Gummel fan. We'll report a spam, thank you. If he wins, will I check it? No. If he wins the whole thing, if he gets first place, I'll check it. I'll check it on stream. Okay, uh, so let's get some predictions started. That is the wrong thing. Start a prediction. I'm going to set the first prediction for one minute. So I got to go get some tea. And you know, I could do a BRB or I can just set an extra long prediction and you guys can watch these monsters walk back and forth. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like? Where's Vince? Is Vince here to help me out? All right. We got rid of Vince. <laughs> we got this guy now. <laughs> Dude, why haven't I made this an emote yet? Oh, that's uh, that's just laziness on my part. We have some new emotes coming in in the next little bit. Now a fully fledged VTuber, that's my ping tuber avatar. If you guys hear some white noise in the background, Bacon's having a bath. 
And if you guys don't know, um, this black foam stuff in the background is not noise proof. This shit is not noise canceling. All this stuff does is stops reflections. So any hard flat surface, especially anything with a sheen on it, like hardwood floor or drywall, just painted white, um, has like a really like bad reverb slap back on it. And when you're recording audio, that shit sucks. So if you guys are, we were talking about it in the Discord, that's the only reason I'm bringing it up. Just, you know, audio tips from a guy who does audio for a living. And I don't do just audio, but... Um, this shit doesn't do anything for noise reduction. It does a very, like, slight amount for noise reduction. But what it's very, very good for is making you sound like you're not in a tunnel. Or you're not in a big cavernous room. It makes it sound like there's no reflections at all. And that's perfect for voiceovers. Okay. Bathe the puppy dog? Yeah, the TN is taking care of that right now. Cavernous bathing? Something like that. Okay, let's see what this ended up. 64% on Stinky. Five balls miss. Slash Claw is going to miss as well. Stinky went with like no life and just big damage potential. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I got my mouse on the screen. I'm sorry about that. I noticed that in the, the latest VOD, the one I uploaded today. If you guys didn't get a chance to catch it, uh, I did upload the middleweight bracket today. I was going to update the hangar video, but I got called into work four hours early. So the video should be out on Wednesday. Thursday at the absolute latest. It's out this week, guaranteed. And the next one's already underway. Ariel Claw's gonna miss. Six seconds left on the clock. Gummel got the ability to do something here. Ariel Claw's gonna miss again. Half a second on the clock. Gummel doesn't do anything with it. Didn't think way too much of your Digimon monster? Me too. I think what I'm gonna do, because it's very easy to do like Metal Glay into something, that shit's boring. Um, I think I'm gonna do Pebbly into Obelisk into Stone Dragon, so I can have a 10 Guts Rate Stone Dragon firing off Dragon combos. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that'll be pretty funny. Ooh, Claw combo at 60%. Also, um, after this we will be running shit at double speed. Can't do Metal Glade. Oh, that's right, the six Gust Rates are banned. But you can do a seven Gust Rate. Like, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Yeah, we have 70 matches to get through tonight, so we will not be playing them all in slow motion. Or regular motion, I suppose. You know what? Nothing's actually stopping me from just doing it here. What are you guys going to do about it? There you go. We call that mixed media. Slash Claw misses. Fireball's going to miss as well. We got the Hurry, the Hurry Aerial Claw, 370 on the crit. Stinky steals it. I went fast motion and that's all it took. Gummel going to losers, but you know, it's not over yet for anybody. Not a Tomo and Skill Dole or Fur. Another low life. Is it Skull Dor Dolfer? Skull Dolfer. Okay. That goes to Stinky. Classic Stinky. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Good luck. Have fun. Has to fight a speedster now. I know. I know you were wishing for the the Gummel win, the Gummel surge, but. Was not meant to be. I legitimately don't even know who my monster is fighting. I entered Big, Big Uncle Pete. I gotta fight Salazar. I don't know who that is. And then I gotta fight the winner of Thunderbird and Peril. Maddox's new monster. And then... Oh shit, maybe Potemkin? Maybe Big Bertha? Oh, we might get the, the run back. Big Uncle Pete lost to Big Bertha. Before, even though they're like exactly... The same build. 
and, and have the same name. Okay, 73% on not Atomo. Hits that Earthquake! He does not hit the Earthquake. He went for it, though. Uh, and there's <laughs> Slash Combo. That shit never misses. Never misses. But he's got grit, so he's still alive. And you know how Hot Chick feels? Oh my god, Hot Chick ran into every speedster. Did not get to fight a single tank. Made top 8 first season. Went like 1... What did uh, Hot Chick... Hot Chick went like worse than 2 and 2, right? Just did not do very well. That game was silly. That's Monster Rancher though. The great comeback. You know, everyone loves to see it. Unless, you know, it happens to you. In which case, you don't like to see it. But you kind of love to see it. That 124 life, very, very, very low. Can't really take any hits. The brow hit 64%, two in a row. Ooh, goes for it, but it misses kick combo. It's 30. Really only has to hit one attack here to win. Uppercut at 51, swing and a miss there. 47 as well. Million stabs. There you go. Hit that coin flip. Coin flip's all it takes. That was it. Next up, we got Violetta and Jillian. As I said off the top, Jillian might be over the cap. That's what um, Shells was saying, so we'll see. Sixteen thirty-two. Yeah, this is over the cap by like quite a bit. Hmm. You know what? It's it's eighteen over the cap. But, like, this intelligence is wasted, like... I don't know. What do I do about this? This sucks. Tactical swap out? No. It's, uh, just gonna be a DQ. I hate, like, I don't want to be put in this position. Point two speed ain't shit, yeah, but everyone else had to adhere to a cap. You know what? We'll we'll let him fight, but I think uh, Nova's gonna take the win. There are other monsters also over the cap. That's rough, man. Like, I don't want to have to eliminate anybody, but also, like. Everyone else had to stay under the cap. Prediction is live. I think we're gonna give Violetta the dub, but... You know, we can still have some matches. Like, the thing is, I... The 18, it's not nothing. But if I let them compete and they win... I don't want anyone to feel bad because they got beat, like they, like, you know what I mean? Nova spent time getting Violetta under the cap. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, 69% on Violetta. Got Slash can do a little bit of damage, angry right away. 13% kick. The 500 power does mean that pretty much everything will kill. Card's gonna hit. Jillian's gonna take it. Game number one. Game two. Twister Slash opener. Violetta landing everything. Double Twister Slash. Jillian tanking that real good. 20% punch misses. Jillian stabs. Minus 63 life off of Jillian there. The thwack at 14 swings the thwack. You don't see Tyrant very often. That's kind of cool. We're going to a game three. Oh, monster I was thinking of. 
Entering for the Digimon Cup? Dagon. Dagon's so fun. The punch misses. Into the charge, it's enough. Jillian's gonna take it. But Violetta does advance. Okay. Next up, we got Stinky, and we got Good Luck Have Fun. That was a crazy buffer. I hit no and escape at the same time. And if you hit escape, it goes to the previous menu. But there was like a good like five seconds of the game loading the next screen and it still shut it down. What did Jillian do? Brother, you're over the cap. Jillian won, but you didn't stay under the cap. 1400 cap. Good luck, have fun, and stinky. Hey, Rostastic, how are you doing? What's that? Six months? Damn. Thank you for the six months. Okay, prediction is live. Do you like the four skill hopper? Or do you like the monster with maximum speed? Hmm. Gonna be a little bit rough. Four skill, baby. The mega anti tank. You believe in your boy? <laughs> in this matchup? Damn. Okay. Aerial Claw miss. Into 2% oh, 2, two jump lows? You know, 2 for 2. Oh, that's it's pretty good damage. Oh shit, the 7% hits? Okay. Okay. All right. It's one of those matches. One of those matches. Oh my god. Keep swinging. Stinky wins it. The 7% and a crit. Game 2, here we go. Stinky wins it. Classic Stinky. Good luck, have fun just cranking the damage attempts, but like doesn't need to do the big damage, just needs to land and hit. Maybe two hits. Ooh, crit slash claws. A little bit of damage there. Happy flick at 16. 15 seconds left on the clock. Good luck, have fun, needs to land one attack. Flick at 13%, misses. Press claw. Flick at 13, misses again. I think he's gonna take that one. It's twice. That's enough. That's it. Next up, TD and Fergus up next. It's been a while since we've seen TD. Okay. Prediction is live. That's a rough match, Shells, but you almost won. You almost won. You got robbed game one, IMO. Game two, you know, that made perfect sense. Game one, not so much. So, Link, if you're still here, uh, you'll get to watch your monster fight again. So, so far, your monster's 1-1. Um, like I said, they are DQ'd because they are over the cap. There's a cap for a reason. But uh, you'll get to see him fight again. 40 speed is an interesting stat. It uh, goes to 50. It goes to 50 with uh, minimum form. 
submitted the wrong save? Well, I mean, feel free to take a look. 91. The one-two punch. The big one-two punch. The smooch. TD taking hits. And giving kicks, getting smashed. Damn, TD's missed like two attacks over 80%. Not like it would have made that big of a difference, but yeah. Game two. Minus 30 on the kiss, the smash lands. Oh, the Mind Blast lands, but TD's got the grit. No Yamcha yet. Heal Raid 71, finally a big tech. The double grit. TD can attack first, another Heal Raid 68. Hit him right in the front of the horse. We all know what that means. That is the weakest part of the horse. Flame opener 166. TD off to a good start in round three. Rear leg kick not going to do that much damage. Another flame. Oh. TD needs to dodge the big techs. Triple stab's not going to do enough to kill. Gets power. Doesn't really need it. Mind blast at 61. She can't dodge. She can't dodge. She didn't dodge a thing. Came down to last hit. TD deciding, you know what? I, I don't feel like getting out of the way today. I don't feel like it. Go bigger and clank Norris. Okay. So that one was 50-50. You guys were split on that one. And it ended up being very close. Prediction is live. TD's got what it takes. He's got what it takes. So tell me why can't this be a win? TD's got to fight good luck. Oh no, I'm sorry TD. That's a rough matchup. What's an infrequently entered breed? Uh, there's quite a few. Mochi. For good reason. Um, I, I would say Mochi is probably the rarest breed to see in tournament. 81% on Clank Norris. You guys are betting just because of the name, aren't you? The Tidal Wave and Retaliation. 318. Big damage. Big anger. Big old blast. Next hit wins, more or less. Weapon throw, except it's weapon throw. Weapon throw is actually a really good tech. Oh, the air shot. Laser beam right to the balls. Gets him. In like human play, if you were to just use weapon throw, you could probably beat 90% of opponents. Move is very good for what it does. It's just not a thing you can rely on. Spin kick doing big damage, but not enough. Gives him power. Go bigger. has got 76 on the headbutt and lands it. We're going to game three. Game tree. Ooh, the tidal wave miss? Well, you're in trouble now. Double blast shot? No, does one. And then goes for the weapon. Two weapons? Misses the second one at 83. Do we see an earthquake? Belly attack, you know, not really the big damage move I was hoping for. As a fan of Go Bigger, gonna get spin kicked. Both alive. Another one, though, at 88. Clank Norris just gonna take it. You can't even see him. That is some next BM. Hey, stabbing him in the face? Watch out, bro. You already knocked him down. That shit's a foul. Hell yeah, and Boo the Undine. Boo the Undine's back? Let's go. Oh, we got, we got Phoenix, though. Clank disqualified for harvesting blubber. Not allowed. Okay, Clank takes that one. Raki is so, so powerful in mixed attacker formats. Prediction is live. Make your bets. We got the boos. But are you really booing the Undine when, you know, the ultra, ultra top tier of lightweight is here? 
I don't know, man. You love to boor? You love to boor, I suppose. Did he really win if he got eaten? Weapon throw lover Nash, it's my favorite move. 74% on Boo the Undine. Wow, you guys are booing, but also, uh... I don't know. Sounds like you were saying Boo earns. And the arrow 88 miss? Oh god, Boo the Undine is pissed. Uh, arrow's not the most powerful move. How do you go back and view the match? So you can take a look if you go to, um, if you're on my channel, if you click on my name, and then click on past broadcasts. The most recent one is today's stream up to like two minutes ago. And you can go back and check it out there. I hit the steamed hams. I hit with the beaks. Ooh. Talons. Don't see talons very often. Wow, Helia just swinging, eh? All the cold fog? One more? She forgets what she's doing and she gives up. Talon's gonna take it. Is it Helia or Helia? Either way. The Boyd wins. You guys bet big against the Boyd. You guys are nuts. Blubbert and Bigsley. Two big names. Big names. Wait, we got another... Another Raki versus another Guji? Thanks for how you do, Nash. Okay, prediction is live. Old fights for the 10 months. Thank you for the 10 months. Thanks for all the support. That's crazy. I'm sneezing. Dude, I've been sneezing and coughing for like a full month. I don't know what's happening. Just always allergy season, I suppose. Oh my god. Okay. Blast shot miss at 86. Really a rough opener for Bigsley, but the charge is going to miss too. You know, one has a much higher chance to hit than the other. Spin kick doing good damage. Rocks the anger. We do have the fire juggler. Scratch misses. Twister kick is gonna land. Good damage there. <laughs> Spin kick lands. Same sort of thing. Just chilling, stabbing him in the face. What are you doing? Leave him alone. Game two. Flash out lands that time on a crit. God, I gotta sneeze again. Ah, oh, leave me alone, sneeze monster. Blubber can't learn shit, eh? He can't land shit. I'm drinking tea, hoping it helps, but... I'm gonna see... Oh, Zilla Rush doing big damage there. Proxy Anger? Ooh, he's got Anger. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, Bigsley's gonna take that one. I didn't mean to do that. It's a 2-0 for Bigsley. Racky's so scary in this format. The anger into double air shot's kind of wild. Uh, Cena and triangles. Cena's the ghost, right? <laughs> yeah. Name the shit triangles. What are you doing? Okay. Prediction is live. <laughs> you submitted the proper save now? Okay. We'll take a look. I love Rackies. Yeah, they're cool. They're very strong. They're very strong when you don't need to worry about the, the mixed basic techs. When you can...
you know, cha-ching, profit off of both of them. Very similar builds, and by that I mean exactly identical. <laughs> Magic cards miss at 73, Cyclone lands? That's a one-hit kill on a crit. Flex in. Game two. Cyclone doesn't kill there. Cena has a lot of guts. Can win this on multiple attacks. Magic cards at 82, good damage there. Still has a 50 guts lead. Needs to keep attacking though. Charge into Astonishment could be big. Rolling Chop is going to finish him off first though. Cena just not wanting to attack. The Gaboo wins it. Gaboo moving up. Felicity and Phoenix Azul. We have, uh, <laughs> wait, who is this? Sasha. We have a lot of Phoenixes. If your goal is to just win this, Blue Phoenix is probably your pick. Okay. Prediction is live. That said, we do also have Jokers in here, so, you know, Joker can ruin the fun. Phoenix is baller in this format. Phoenix may need to be banned in this format. But it's also, like, the only format that Phoenix is fun in because you don't run Intelligence Phoenix in middleweight or heavyweight. Or welterweight, even. Only two phoenixes? Yeah, it's not bad then. Okay. The Meow hits. A little bit of damage. This is like one of the matchups where I think early Meow isn't terrible. Meow's not a great move just ever, really. <laughs> but what it does is it stops Phoenix as well from being able to use that 50 guts tech frame one. And, you know, that might be enough. Ooh, good withering there. Phoenix as well is angry though. It's the headbutt. Very close game. There's the beak, though. 11 seconds left. Phoenix Azul takes it. <laughs> game two. Here we go. It's very good and lightweight, yeah. The fire wave hits. That's going to be enough. <laughs> Phoenix wins again. Tyrus Flare and Gort. Tyrus Flare is one of my favorite monsters in this format. It's just like, what if I just gambled on every single play? How about that? And Gort is just a good name. So, Gort wins on the name, but uh, Tyrus Flair wins on the very funny build. Okay, uh, 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 uh. So, that goes to Phoenix. Okay, prediction is live, make your bets. I'm gonna blow my nose. Hell yeah. No firebomb in this matchup? I want to see nothing but firebomb. Hell yeah. You don't build a monster with this build and then go like, oh no, don't 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 use my risky moves. Don't use my risky moves. What's the point in that? Come on, man. I want to see nothing but firebomb. I'm telling you. That's the play. You know what? I lied. Maybe it wasn't the play. We'll see though. Match isn't over yet. Still not over yet. It's gonna end up being the play, I'm telling you. Just give it enough time. Ooh, the charge miss? Tail's gonna do half of his health? Charge lands too. Okay. Earthquake. Yeah, stop him from using the, the firebomb, but. Ooh. 
Quartz trying to finish it. Oh, the tail combo missed. That could have probably killed in one hit. Crit on Claude doing 96 damage. Put him in the yellow. The kick's gonna land. Quartz got it. Gort do be kicking. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when Gort kicks on you? Always a golem homer. And golem marks over here. Zosma and Skjoldolfer. You know, lots of we've seen Zosma. So when I originally made the Monster Rancher Battle League, which is way before like 90% of you started watching my streams, um, my entire intention was that for there to be like storylines, right? Not like made up hype bullshit, but like people would like tune in and they'd see the same monsters week after week and they'd be like, oh, this monster has a winning record against this one and this and that. And like, it's, you know, it kind of self-perpetuates the excitement and there's not a whole lot you need to do inorganically to like hype it up any more than that and uh you know it's it's come up we got zozma zozma's been fighting since the beginning you know sometimes it does very well sometimes it does less than very well this one little bit of hair look at this like what's with this bit of... <laughs> need to like twist this something get out of there It's killing me though. Okay, Zolzma and Skjoldolfer. The same with 50 people submitting four monsters? Nah. Bash Slash doing big damage. Heart straight 89% miss? Oh my lord. It's another gas though. Ooh, there's the heart straight. I love Hare's little scream when he lands it. Man is freaking out. Skill Dolfer wins game one. The story of DXBL has been the gradual acknowledgement of Snail being strong, and I'm so, so happy about it. Zosma's so eventually going to attack with something that's not gas, and it's going to hurt, and, you know, as I say it, but... Speaking of butt, Gas takes that. Game three, here we go. Here we go, game number three. Straight lands, straight lands. Ooh, slash combo miss. Ooh, back blow is gonna take it? God dang. God dang. Oops. I don't know, I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, that was right. I clicked the wrong thing, but, you know, it was right. Potemkin and Big Bertha up next. I think Potem yeah, Potemkin and Potemkin EX are both in this, and they're the same fucking build. Big Berth. Okay. Zosma takes that one. Fiction is live. Just hopped in, missed anything good? We'll see. Have you missed anything good? There's been a lot of really fun matchups. Normally we see just like a ton of monsters. Um bodying each other in round one because you know it's round one is very uneven and equal in the general monster strength and then as it goes up you know you start getting closer matches but it's been uh, it's been pretty even so far people have been doing good death energy opener angry right away ice spikes at 72 with the anger that move does no withering though so the anger doesn't really matter that smash doing big damage. Anger again. Ice wave at 54. Ooh, big Bertha puts Potemkin down. Potemkin, one of the favorites to win the whole thing. Miss TD trying her best. TD almost had it. TD almost won. TD's still in it, though. Death energy opener. Anger again. 
Death Cutter doing big damage, but Big Bertha still in there. The real proc? Ooh, punch combo misses. But real has worn off already. Look how much damage it's gonna do. <laughs> it's just gonna fucking kill. Oh my god. Big Bertha tanks it. Ends up winning 2-0. Thunderbird and Peril up next. Oh, we got uh, Thunderbird is a Garuda, and we got Peril. Oh no, I need your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. So that was a big upset on those bets. About four to one odds, that paid off. I should be betting right now, but my phone is charging. Got a Garuda. And Peril. The so Peril going with the, the max damage build. The hope I get a firebomb frame one and you can't dodge build. Garuda Mesh. J Rock. Garuda's the coolest monster we never see. Garuda's pretty sick. But yes, we don't see it very often. Firebomb 70%. Goes for it and it misses. That is very unfortunate. That's. Did everything right, Peril. You did everything right. I'd do it again. I... That is... That is so obscenely lucky. That is so insanely lucky. Thunderbird wins it. And Bell Bok Bok never actually enters with their name. For some reason, they don't know how to read the instructions. They don't understand. They gotta put brackets and put their fucking trainer name in. They always just enter their monster name. I should DQ them on that. DQ them on that and be unlucky. Salazar and Big Uncle Pete coming up next. Mm. Salazar and here we go. Big Uncle Pete. Trip Coast, and thank you for the follow. Okay. That goes to the Galuda. Prediction is the life for this. What do you like? You're fighting me first? Let's go. I think you can win this. I don't even know what your build is. I think you got a shot. We just saw Maddie uh, completely burn out there on... What looked like two sure things. Anything can happen in this game. Plus, yeah, it completely depends on your build. I don't know if you got like giant thwack or like what you went with, but you can do some big stuff. 77% on me, you guys are nuts. Big Uncle Pete always misses everything. Thunderbolt opener. A little bit of damage there. Hits again. Ice wave at 74. 278. Firewall's gonna do a little bit too. Ice spikes at 93. 154. Gives him power. Punch combo 67 is gonna put him in the ground though. Crits for 419. That's quite a bit of damage. Game number two. T-Bolt doing a little bit. Ice wave 72. 257 into the double slaps. Puts him in the yellow. Salazar can proc power. Ice wave at 70. I think that's going to finish him off, though. Big Uncle Pete tanks his way to victory. Interesting build. I don't want to give uh, unsolicited advice. So, you know, let me know if you want advice or let me know if, you know, you don't. It's totally cool if you don't. Escargoo and Violetta up next. Tell me your monsters are bad? No. It's not about that. It's not about being bad. It's a, it's a little thing that, you know, I have I've built that same sort of build before, and it hasn't worked out for me in the past. And over time, I realized why, but I had to kind of figure it out on my own. And nobody, nobody bothered to tell me. So, the issue with your build is that you don't have big damage. 
being a tank, you need to have a nuke. Because if you're a tank and you don't have a move to beat other tanks, like frame one, you will lose half your matchups. In certain formats, that's not a big deal. You can run completely risk-averse builds uh, in 3500, for example. But uh, in anything where you think tanks are going to be pretty common, you need to run at least one extremely like chunky tech. It doesn't need to be a 50 cost tech. It could be something like, uh, like Jill's Ice Wave, for example. It's very, very cheap. Um, but it does big damage, and the only reason it's cheap is because it's so wildly inaccurate. Um, but yeah, you'll if you run into other tanks, you'll have a situation where you just can't win. It's kind of like that with um, like Doctor Baloney. Doctor Baloney kind of has that problem. It's not super super bad because you know Napalm on a crit still does like seven hundred damage, so that's enough to wipe out a lot of monsters after one T bolt. But uh, the issue is that Dr. Baloney was built to beat speed monsters and it only has hit techs and napalm. So if I run into the, like there was an example where I kept running into this Bajarl and he was using hook and I just couldn't win because, you know, hook cost less than any of my moves and it did more damage than any of my moves. So you run into a situation where both monsters have 99% chance to hit. But when one does 500 damage for 21 cost, and I'm doing 700 on a crit for 38 cost on a slower guts rate monster, like, I don't, I'm not going to win that. Send hook? Yeah, send hook. So I think if you had, like, Giant Thwack as an opener, or if you had uh, Hurricane or something like that on one of the starting slots, or even Napalm up early, I think you, uh, your build would probably be stronger in general. That said, you know, um... That's only the first round. You could run into a bunch of speed monsters. I think if you run into speed monsters, you're going to dominate. That is a very anti-speed build. So uh, hopefully you get some luck on that side in losers. So Escargu and Violetta. What did you guys think about this one? 71% on Violetta, eh? A little bit of damage on the Gust Slash. Electric Stab, 37% chance to hit. Not very good chance to hit. Million Whips is going to miss too. If Pinch Pierce throw are enough damage, I would prefer Nijimaru. Want to keep him fairly accurate, though. Yeah, I think uh, with Worm, your goal is to run a minus skill build and put more points into defense if you want to run a tank. I just don't think tank Worm works very well in general. Unless it's something like this where it's really low stats. Because we've seen... Uh, well, Haribo's a speed monster, right? I can't remember what Haribo is, but Haribo's good. Violetta wins game one. Angry. Angry numbing whip, 40%. That's big damage. Fox Fury, though. Christ. Better put her down. Back to back numbing whips. Going to game three. One, one. Ash Slash. Electric Stab's going to do big damage. Oh, misses that one, though. Ash Slash again. Puts him in the green. Violent Shell 37. Violetta's got 30 seconds to slowly walk towards a KO here. Twister Slash looking nice. Dodges the Numbing Stab. R Ooh, the Rush Slash misses at 82 and at 78. Oh my god. Escargu fighting for its little snail life here. Misses there. Violetta with a very, very slight lead and then hits the Twister Slash. Violetta's going to take that one. 2-1. Sir Gauntlots and Lady Death. Ooh, Lady Death's back. Oh, we got a rock line? That's sick. Okay. So Violetta takes that one and moves on. Prediction is live. Make your bets. That was a real close one. Escargu swinging those 30s. Only needed to land one. Dodge some 80s at the end, you know. I feel like recently Durahans and Lightweight have started picking up with Gust Slash Airshot lines, which is scary against Speedsters. I think uh, Airshot and Blast Shot are really interesting because they're very expensive. Um... 
and they don't do a lot of damage. So people are like, I don't know if that's worth it. But that shit withers so much. If you have it on something like um, like a Lazina or a fast gust rate Durahan otherwise, I think you can do mad work. 88% on Sir Gauntlots. And what I mean by you can do work is that it is an extremely accurate tech that still works well against tanks without being like not worth its cost because you get so much withering out of it. There's the Fury, Sir Gauntlot dodges the flame? It's the punch, but power ran out first. That was also going to take that one. A little stab right to the face. Rolling bomb opener. 153. Isn't the vigor. There's the punch doing a little bit of damage. Death final though. Ooh. No real proc either. Lady Death sitting pretty right now. Flame at 74. It's gonna take it. Lady Death takes game number two. Death final miss at 70. Well, this is going to be hard to come back from. That's going to do a lot of damage because of the massive guts difference. Spiral Dive takes that one quick. Sir Gauntlots is going to move on in winner's side. Flan Fan or Flan Fan and JP's fucking abomination of a name. I can probably just type equals H, right? That's probably all I need. Got a golem. 1776? Okay. Yeah, okay, prediction is live. Is this like, is it a rickroll? Is it like a base boosted Rickroll? It's the other monster you're scared of? This is kind of like... This is just the Mega Rock build, eh? Okay, what do we got? 60% on Flan Fan. Flan Fan. 21 on Cannon! What it killed. Charge lands, but it's not enough to kill. Flan Fan's still in it. Spike top. Ooh, 121. Gives him power. The power kick. It's enough. Should you use your Wi-Fi password as a monster name? That's his Twitch password. Spike top. 129. Needs a crit to win it. Gives him power again. The punch. Power punch. Misses, though. Two whips. Ha-cha! No power anymore, but has the guts lead, and it's not over yet, and it's over now. Land fan takes it. Game number three. And checking monsters, I did. Did JP accidentally send some private data? <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Flan fan doing a big work with the two whips and the spike top. The wood golem going to losers immediately, though. And Haribo and Hawk Dog status. Haribo. I'm a fan of the Jelly Worm. Hot Dog. Hot Dogs. Just Hot Dogs would be a good name, but I've already named the uh, a Monster Hot Dog, so I can't do that again. Plan Fan wins it. Yeah, prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? Zosma got a win? Yeah, Zosma is still in it. Haribo has those plus 20 hit techs. So with 250 skill, he's still going to have like 75-80% chance to hit. Baku's an interesting monster in mixed attacker formats too because he gets some interesting intelligence techs that you don't get to see very often. Going all in on hot dog status? Damn, 62%. Diving press opener? Mm. Mm. Some at 92. Still hanging in there. Ooh, good damage on the charge. Some result 
Gonna take that one. Haribo doing decent damage. Pretty hard to put down because of that extremely high speed and uh, the fact he doesn't need to go very high into skill. Two bites doing good damage though. But Hot Dog Status needs to get the KO because Haribo will KO his opponent. It's just a matter of time. Another Tail Lash. Haribo takes it. Wormy boy. He's moving on. Okay. So. Let me... See where we're at. Okay. So next up we got Stinky and Fergus. We're not going to losers yet. We will in a sec. Okay, prediction is live between these two. Hot Dog let us down. He always loses to Haribo. That's, uh... He's no Matt Bourne, that's true. Jesus Christ, it's not Matt Bourne. I always do bad when you doubt the worm lesson learned. You say that, but I have a feeling you're going to type that same thing into chat in like six months. You're wrong for doubting the worm. Haribo is like a contender to win this whole thing today. Arbo has a fantastic matchup versus a lot of the best monsters in this, so. You know, it's a good build. 68% on Fergus. Aerial Claw miss at 53, Death Thrust at 27. You know, 27 is not very good, but the 50-50 on Smash pretty sick. And it's going to hit anyway, so who cares? That, that shit does a, a billion damage. Didn't need to do it, but it's pretty funny that he did. Uh... Smash again, Stinky not dodging anything. There we go, finally gets his first hit. Mind Blast. Death Thrust. Aerial Claw. Hits it. Hit him in the front of the horse. We know. Hey Jake, how are you doing? Is this game like Cool Borders? Uh, no, it's like Papers, please. Game three, here we go. Power. Power smash! It's not enough though, he's still in it. The thrust claw, stinky. Survived somehow. By the will of God alone. Clank Norris and Helia up next. So let's see if Saird likes fighting Phoenix. See how he feels about that. Okay, prediction is live. Love the names people who give Kato's. Kato is just such a funny monster. One of them, I love that in the, the Digimon theme tournament that uh, Macho's running, that uh, Kato's is an ultimate. Like, that's so fitting. Like, the grumpy old man cat is, like, actually obscenely powerful. It would be the final stage of the evolution. God, I can't wait to get my hair cut. It's way too long. What are you doing all the way up there? It's crazy. Varjack pause the best. Varjack pause was good. There's a lot of good ones. Fergus keeps swinging the death thrust. I, it worked once. 60% on Clank Norris. Missed the Heat Beam. Kick at 93. Big damage. It's the Beak. Weapon throw. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Weapon throw works. It just doesn't work when you don't have intelligence. Game 3. Or Game 2. Doing just a little bit of withering, but it's enough to keep Helia on its toes. Twister kick with anger. This can do a lot of withering and just straight up kill. Clank Norris takes that one 2-0. Well, you know, you build a phoenix, you know how to beat a phoenix, I suppose. Bigsley and Triangles up next. More Racky action.
triangles. That triangle thing, trying to find it is like the old Mitch Hedberg joke about how he wants his phone number to just be a bunch of twos. Like two, 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 two. So when his friends ask him how they can get a hold of him, he says, just keep pressing twos. And when I pick up, you'll know you've pressed it enough. Same thing with these triangles. Moldy Grandpa's your favorite Kato name? I, I am partial to Uncle Cracker, but I feel like that's, you know, I'm not allowed to be. Okay. 69% on Bigsley. That's a pretty nice number for Bigsley. Ooh, the big slap. Ooh, it does foolery and then gets another slap. Fire juggler 53? Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. That's some big boy damage. Poor Hundo. The 87 blast shot misses and the cyclone misses. Bigsley seems to be built for beating tanks. But I think if he gets hit like once, he's in trouble. Spin kick doing big damage there. Kick, not enough to kill. We got Samurai Kick with a big guts lead would do it. Cyclone misses. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive. Oh, dodge the weapon. He's still in it. He could have Cycloned one more time. He could have tried it, but Bigsley is going to take that one. 2-0 for the Raki. Phoenix Azul and Gort up next. A Citrony in OG Monster Rancher 2 named Lemon Man. <laughs> you know, very simple, but very effective. Good evening, Ryu. How are you doing? Triangles just went for the big text, and you respect that? Me too. Considering, you know, he needed the one hit to kill. Especially at the end there, when he was going for it. You know, I respect it. Thought it would spin a stick that's on fire. Fire Juggler is kind of a deceptive name. He just puts his head in his hand. Okay, so what do we have on the bets? 56% on the play a one monster on the Phoenix. Okay, we got Earthquake versus Fire Wave. Earthquake opener. It's a lot of guts down, but he's angry. Punch can do a little bit of damage too. Phoenix Azul does not have a great chance to hit, but 50-50. Oh, big damage though. A huge guts lead definitely helping him out there. Kick. It's in close to 50. Diving press finisher? Oh, that's so not worth it but it's pretty sick. Pretty hype. Rapid Beak's gonna take that one. Phoenix Azul wins somehow. They've got pretty similar chances to hit. Ooh. Phoenix Azul down on Guts now. Earthquake being the play. Kick lands, puts him in the yellow. Brow hit at 66. Ooh, misses that one. Talon's gonna do big, big damage procs. Real though, real power. See the real power there. Gort takes that one. Going to game three. And Fire Spike are more fun. They're just very bad. They they have a better animation though. Fire wave hits. That's gonna KO. And no grit. Phoenix as well as moving on. Just like that. Can't stop the Boyd. Zosma and Big Bertha up next. If Big Bertha and Big Uncle Pete both win, they gotta fight each other again. And this is a great example of why optimization, you know, it's important to give you the best chance possible, but, you know, it's still all RNG. Big Bertha versus, um, oh, Phoenix wins that one. Fumo Fumo.
thank you for the follow. Uh, good example of why hyper optimization isn't going to win you the game on its own. You know, you still need the luck. Is that Big Bertha and Big Uncle Pete are very similar, except Big Uncle Pete has less skill and more life, which in a tank matchup is the objective advantage. But Big Bertha has not lost to Big Uncle Pete yet. They got the same loadout, same attacks. I think Big Big Bertha has uh, Frantic Rush, which is just objectively worse in that specific matchup as well. Big Bertha is a good monster. Um, it's just you know. You start getting into very specific granular matchups, and if you start building to like be able to beat one specific thing, and then luck doesn't roll your way, all of a sudden you can't beat anybody. So when you're building, you need to build for a variety of builds, not like one specific thing. 65, 35, people liking Zosma. <laughs> Straight gives him anger. Double slaps and retaliation, big damage. The double double slap. The double 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 double. Big Bertha takes one game with the four slaps. The double straight again. No anger this time. Ice spikes at 74. There's a miss. But the ice wave is gonna land. That shit does a million more damage. Big Bertha with the one hit, one kill. One shot, one kill. Big Bertha, 2 0. Next up, Thunderbird and Big Uncle Pete. Oh wait, I I don't have to do this. What am I looking for? Big Uncle Cracker. I got two uncles in my freezer. How many uncles you got in your freezer? Okay. 66 on Zosma, and Zosma loses that one. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Love both Hair and Jill. Tough choice for that one. Yeah. Well, if you love Hair and Jill... Eh? Yeah? Uh, I got something for you. Wish you still had your matcha sub so you could use the lumpy emotes. Well, I got it. Here we go, baby. See some lumpy pogs in chat if you're a uh, macho cheese lover. Hell yeah. Look at that. Yeah, what do we got? 69% on Thunderbird. I think he might have a slight advantage in this matchup. Lightning opener, 76% misses. Ooh, that's really, really bad for him. Ice spikes at 89 and do good damage. Two in a row. Doesn't do any weathering. Thunderbird's got the 50 guts. Goes for the cut and two. Misses that one as well. Dash slash lands, though. Big Uncle Pete goes for the punch combo. That one misses. They both got about 40 guts. Punch combo hits that time. Thunderbird goes down. Misses two unfortunate attacks. One of them, you know, was way more impactful than the other. That thunder miss was, or the lightning miss was really, really unfortunate for him. Ice wave at 66. It's two in a row. Dash slash with a good guts lead. Going to do solid damage. Two in a row. Ooh, puts him in the green. Three in a row. Four in a row. He's angry. That is an angry Boyd. That is one ugly Boyd. Oh my god. What the fuck? That was crazy. That was hype. Dash slash opener. A little bit less damage this time. Thunderbolt. It's at 66. Big Uncle Pete still in it. Misses the 84 double slaps. Hits the punch combo though. Six. 367. Into the double slaps at 80. Misses again? Oh my god. Ice wave at 67 hits. I am I am tense. What the fuck was that set? I am so stressed out from that. If that shit was happening in not double time, I think my heart would have exploded. The only reason... Oh my god, the only reason that I didn't have a heart attack is because I didn't have time to process all of that. Holy shit. Oh! Thunderbird playing out of his mind, that man... It's off the goop. Big Uncle Pete somehow wins that one. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. But he won it. Violetta and Sir Gauntlots up next. That was... 
an insane matchup. I actually felt like Pokemon with how much 80% was missing. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. I gotta calm down. Today's the day my uncle's gonna win a tourney. I gotta fight Big Bertha next. I'm gonna lose there. That's gonna be it. Damn, Thunderbird misses the lightning game one. Goes fucking apeshit game two. Dodges a bunch of 80s game three to try and try and steal it away. I mean, he wouldn't have stealing it away, but like, you know what I mean? Like, he hits, he hit the, the Thunderbolt and was like, I'm just going to dodge everything after this. Maybe my luck has turned. I think if you go back and watch that, that was not particularly lucky for me. It was very back and forth with luck. It was, that was pretty close to a 50 50 luck split. Violetta and Sir Gonsla, we got 80% on Violetta. People really liking Violetta in this one. Horn attack hits though. That shit almost kills. That was a damage roll. Top salt to 53. Misses that one. Top, top assault is probably like a top five goofiest looking tech in the game. Booster slash at 59 is going to hit Violetta, not missing anything. Game three. Game two, sorry. Cut in two, a little bit of damage there. Rush slash missed at 75. Spiral dive at 31. Just going big, saying, you know what? I didn't kill on the damage roll last time. I'm going to make sure I kill this time. Or miss trying. So Gonslaw goes for the rolling bomb on the 50 50. That misses as well. Twister slash at 63. Not going to kill. Puts him in the yellow, though. Horn strike does a good chunk, but he needs to land a lot of attacks still. Violet is going to take that one. Missing two 80% is a bit unlucky. When hitting the 80% would have won you the game, it's a little, yeah, it's a little bit unlucky. Everything came out in the wash. That was pretty close on both sides. Flanfan and Haribo up next. Oh my god. Really? Match made in heaven. The two jellies. Not really a brother fight, but... Both of their names are Harago. Both of their names are references, you know? Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Love Beaklon so much. Can do so much stuff with it for the amount of text it has. Yeah, it has a lot of different playstyles. I have been putting off putting out the Beaklon video because I did the worm one and I kind of wanted to like, you know, step back and not do them back to back. But maybe we'll do it soonish. It's going to be a while before uh we do the next like monster rancher rundown after october though because october as you guys already know we're doing ghost you know it's spooky season and then we've got all the ukmr stuff coming out so november is probably going to be dedicated to that and then maybe in december uh we'll do the next uh monster specific rancher rundown we'll see how much we figure out about ukmr maybe i'll start doing ukmr stuff too like rancher rundowns some results at 60 misses. Gomorrah Rancher rundown when? Is Zilla out already? Zilla's not out. You guys had a chance to bet, or not bet, but uh, vote on Hanger or Zilla for this month. And uh, Zilla got beat by Hanger. Hanger will be out in a couple of days. Before the end of the week, guaranteed. Yeah, Hanger won the poll. Haribo takes that one. The 250 skill is still enough. Cannon miss at 22. Look at that. He's like 50, 60% on all of his attacks. Stab lands, a little bit of damage, but Haribo does have like, you know, a solid amount of life. He can take a couple of hits. 64 on the tail lash. Ooh, and spike top misses. Gel top miss at 51. Would have done about like 70 damage, so not that crazy. 120 on the two whips. Ooh, Tail Lash gonna finish it off. Haribo takes it. Okay. 204 Haribo. Freeman likes uh gel, eh? I'm noticing. Okay, Stinky and Clank Norris up next. I don't see the like lifesteal mock today. Maybe he's in the other one. He might be. Stinky. 
Do you mean, uh, is it Piss Baby? I think it's Piss Baby. I don't actually know if, uh, Vivid entered a monster or not. Stinky and Clank. Also, I know you guys have been saying it in chat, but everybody, especially me, owes Shells a, a debt of gratitude for going through and vetting all of these monsters, because I just, I literally don't have time to do it, so. You know, they've been the real MVP lately. Very, very cool of Shells. And don't worry, I'll be taking care of you, Shells. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, uh, prediction is live. I think Piss Baby's life still mock it is, yeah. Fifty-five, forty-five. Must have been so easy, I know. And what's crazy is he has like notes for all the ones that aren't just like very standard. And he's like, this one's fucked up. Or <laughs> like, you might want to take a look at this one. Like, n not necessarily that they're um, like not working, but like this mochi's like 800 under the cap. That's fucked. Stuff like that. Can you take large to substantial bribes? Don't let them know that. Look at all those slash claws. But we got Blast Shot of 50 on the 99 Guts. Clank Norris does a little dance. Metal Glay is so goofy looking. I think it's because of how big its mitts are. I think that's what makes it look so silly. That and its like peanut shaped body. Into the kick at 34. That's big damage. Stinky in the yellow. Here you claw miss at 46%. Weapon miss at 30. Ooh, thrust claw, a little bit of damage there. Can he win it? He needs one more. Oh, one second left on the clock. Do we see anything? We don't. Clank Norris gonna take that one. 2 0. Oh, stinky. His first loss of the day. Bigsley and Phoenix Azul. So that means, looking at this, Clank Norris is a single win away from advancing. Bigsley and Phoenix Azul, same thing. Whoever wins this one is one win away from advancing. Which means that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go into loser's bracket before we get there. To figure everything out. We can't have two of the three figured out this early. There's lots of ranching left to do. Phoenix Azul, okay. Do we have Racky versus Racky? Is this the dawn of Racky? It's not the dawn of Racky. We've had a lot of uh, lightweight Rackies do very well in the past, but you know what I mean. Now I know that Pete's going to be stewing for a while. What do you mean? My monster hasn't lost yet. What are you doing? Pete and Haribo, uh, I gotta fight, oh god, I might have to fight Haribo, yeah, if I beat, uh, Big Bertha. Oh god. Macho, how are you doing? Got a new stream layout. Not really. We will have a new actual stream layout in, like, a day or two. We've been working on shit. I really wanted to have everything done, like, October 1st. That was my goal, but I have been so, so busy. I wanted to have a new song, a bunch of other stuff. I'm not removing the Let's Go song. I'm going to leave that one on, but, you know, I wanted to have more music that I made just for the stream. Phoenix Azul takes game one, but I have not been able to really work on it at all since I showed you guys those previews forever ago. <laughs> Today's the day Pete wins the whole thing. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think so, but... I think he's a good build. I've been saying since the beginning, he's a good build. He's just gotten a little bit unlucky. This is the first day he's actually landed Ice Wave, so, you know. He's done okay so far. Fire Wave lands. 
Ah, uh, can't fight Phoenix, I guess. 78% of you voted on Bigsley, and he goes down. So, we are going to have another Phoenix vs. Raki to see who makes it. And we are going to have a Jill, guaranteed. Because we got Big Bertha and Big Uncle Pete. Do you think they'd date? Where would they go on their first date? I think Big Uncle Pete would, like, want to go to a dive bar. But, like, he doesn't know it's a dive bar. It's just, like, where he normally hangs out. And he'd wear a suit that, like, doesn't really fit him that well, but he's, like, so... He's just nervous and earnest. He just wants to put on a good impression. And he's completely harmless, but, you know, he just doesn't know what he's doing. And Big Bertha is a lady of distinction. Prediction is live. They can go to Papa's. They can go skiing. Ice skating. Thanks for making me stare at the techniques page for two hours, dude. It's fucked. Macho uh, made a post, so if you guys don't know, Macho is running this kind of complicated tournament. I think it's a great uh, gimmick. It's You need to enter a team of three monsters, and it's based on Digimon. So there's certain monsters, are rookies, certain are champions, certain are ultimates, and you have to like digivolve from one to the next to the next. So it's basically one monster, one lifespan, all the way through. And so you need to like plan out how you want your stats to break up, and you have to plan out how you want your text to break up, and this and that. Because when your monster is reskinned from one to another, it fucks up a whole bunch of stuff that you need to be aware of. And uh, it is it is very very technical, and it's gonna be interesting to see what people come up with. A lot of cheating. A lot of actual cheating involved in making that shit work, but it'll be fun. Okay, what do we got on the bets? Exactly 50-50? You know? You know what they say about every relationship? Every good relationship is 50-50. So, here we go. Punch combo opener, 68% to 68. Proxy Anger immediately into the Ice Wave. Angry Ice Wave, 276. Hits it again. Crits for 330. Big Bertha is pissed. Don't be hitting me. Game 2. Here we go. Punch combo opener, miss at 77. One, two straight. 119 into the ice wave at 72. We got a game three, just like that. Can you mess up a build and get a Numamon? You, yeah, you can You can completely fuck up your build and lock your monster out of get, being able to get text and stuff. It's, it's very funny. Ice wave at 79 hits. Ice wave at 76 hits. He's angry. Ice Wave at 77, doing big damage. Punch combo, 73 misses. Oh my god, Big Uncle Pete goes with the Ice Wave with the huge Guts lead. Woo! A Bertha scorned. Dodge the 77 when I needed it. I'll take it. I might win this turn. Shut up, everyone shut the fuck up. Stop saying that. <laughs> Don't jinx it. I would love to have a monster. You know how, like, high the level of competition in this turn and just in this scene has gotten that I can't just make goofy builds and make top 8 anymore? I have to, like, actually make, like, meta shit if I want to compete. I can't just make the goofy shit I always make. But it does feel good. I need to beat Haribo? Oh, fuck. That's true. No, I might have to fight Violetta. So here's the thing though, with a Guts lead, Ice Spikes, Ice Spikes can do well over 250 damage if I have a, you know, a Guts lead. Uh, Haribo does a decent amount of Withering, so I don't know if that'll happen, so I may have to hit twice. I'll have about 50% chance, 45 to 50% chance to hit it though. Okay, prediction is live. Compl compare, blah, 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 blah. Compared to first lightweight, it's way higher now. Yeah, it's like I was saying, somebody got really angry in my comments because I didn't, I don't really like talk about them that much because I just don't give anybody the uh, the satisfaction of, you know, engaging with it. But I made a comment a couple of weeks ago on Dr. Baloney, and I had said that Dr. Baloney used to be a good build. But then, you know, with time, people got better and they learned the meta a little bit more. And so I had made a monster that was like 
kind of built to beat what I thought everyone was going to enter because they didn't understand 2997 when we first started the DXBL. And which is, I thought a lot of people were going to run speed, and I was just going to make a tank with like an anti-speed build. And I did, and it did extremely well for two weeks. And then people are like, you know what, maybe a life tank is the way to go. And so people's understanding of the meta changed, and all of a sudden this build I made doesn't work anymore because, you know, it was never going to beat proper optimal meta 2997 picks. And this one guy was like losing his shit in my comps. He's like, it's so shitty of you to say that you built a thing and that the only reason you're losing is because people counterpicked you and this and that. And it was, it was like really strange. You went off and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't say any of that. I said I, I was happy that people have like gotten better at the game. Of course my guy's going to do bad when people have gotten better at the game. Like shit happens. I'm happy to see that. I'm not upset. But you know, the average YouTube commenter, for me, seems like a normal person. The average YouTube commenter, in general, is like the most deranged fucko just like on the planet. Herbo can't land anything, what is going on? Eight seconds left, Herbo is not landed in attack! Oh my god, the rush slash miss, Violetta wins game one. You wanna beat the streamer? Those are the best wins, that's what everyone's aiming for, eh? Gex! Thank you for the the sub. Very kind of you. Just Ask Walmart. That shit was nuts. If you guys don't know the Just Ask Walmart saga, uh, I, you know, maybe, I don't think we're going to get into it. I don't think we're going to get into it, but that, that shit is nuts. If you know, you know. Haribo hits the two lashes. It's just like that we got a game three. Somersaults, 144, cutting two hits. Violetta needs to do some big damage still, though. Twister Slash at 10! Oh my god! 30 seconds left on the clock. Haribo still has plenty of time. Just needs to land something. 18 seconds. Sting miss at 27. Oh no, the Rush Slash at 31. Violetta moving on Haribo in losers. Haribo is going to ruin losers. He's going to be a big old bastard, a mean old Grinch. That is, uh, that is a big bet. I don't think Violetta was the favorite to win that one, but Violetta won that one. Okay, so that is winners all the way up to where top eight begins. Two of the four monsters, Clank Norris, Phoenix Azul, Big Uncle Pete, and Violetta, will be advancing to the DXBL lightweight finale coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Um, or more accurate, more accurately, I should say, Clank Norris or Phoenix Azul will be advancing, and Big Uncle Pete or Violetta will be advancing. So, we're going to be moving on to losers. I'm going to take a quick break to go get some water, and uh, maybe I'll boil some tea. You know, I haven't been sneezing so much, so maybe the, the tea's helping. I don't know why it would, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Hey, we're back. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Uh, what does that say? What are the requirements? Entering tournaments. Uh, so the rules are... <laughs> that's for the Nuzlocke. Um, God, my hair is fucked up. My hair is so long. I gotta I need a haircut so bad. Um, what are we saying? It's uh, formats. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just uh, join to see when I'm going live, and then check out the the formats. And there you go. That's that. Very easy to get involved. Okay, let's take a look and see where we're at in Losers. And uh, thank you guys for being patient and waiting while I made myself some more tea. Hot Dog Status in Gummel. Tires Flare and Natomo. Boolean Dean and Jillian. So Jillian has been re-uploaded as far as I know. The legal. We'll take a look. We'll make sure. But that's where we're at right now. And then we got quite a ways to go. We're gonna go all the way up to here. Losers round six, losers round seven. We'll have, this is where we will go back to the top. Yeah, it's easy to join. Monsters just have to meet requirements. That's it. Very simple to get involved. If you uh, if you ever wanted to enter a tournament, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to get into it. We wouldn't have this many people playing if it was difficult. Look how blazed I am. He in the form of marijuana that he smoked instead of drinking. Look how blazed, brother. I have had droopy eyes my entire life. I used to get in shit in high school all the time because people, like teachers and stuff, would think I was high. And uh, I didn't try weed for the first time until I was like 17. So I uh, was. Like, near the end of high school. And so I had just, like, basically built up this immunity to people being able to tell if I was high or not, because I just always looked like I was high. This is what happens when, between streaming and uh, work, you work over 110 hours a week. That's what happens. They're glazed as well, not only droopy. Damn. See, this man's talking a lot of shit. This man's talking a lot of shit. You gotta rest? I can't. I gotta get the fucking hangar video done. You guys see the, the dream face reveal? You know how fucked up that is? He's just like the most normal looking dude and people are like, Whoa, look how ugly this fucker is. And it's like, guys, like half of you should be wearing bags on your head. What are you guys talking shit about? People always, like if someone wants to talk shit about me, they'll, they'll take a, a stab at my looks and it's like, brother, I am 100%, 100% confident that I am more attractive than you. But you're talking shit about me. It's very unfortunate. What's with the self-hate, brother? 79% on hot dog status and gummel. You're not a fan? I, I mean, whatever. He makes content that's not for me. And, you know, he's kind of a wiener. But, but like, people calling him ugly? It's so strange. He's just the most normal-looking guy. Holy fuck the f Okay. Single fireball is enough? Gummel takes it. I look away from my screen and it's over. I was gonna say, 79% on hot dog stat is. Ooh, the diving press! That's enough. We're going to game number three. And the 50-50- Jesus Christ. He is Jason Bourne. Oh my god. Oh, that's it. Tyrus Flair, not a Tomo. I'm sorry, Ev. Very sorry about that. Oh no, I need your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. See it now. I wear eyeliner. You can see my makeup. Yeah, something like that. My eyes are just very nice. That's all it is. Uh, not a Tomo. But yeah, man, I can't imagine doing a face reveal and having burying his body. Bring some towels and some garbage bags. 
predictions lab by the way yeah i can't imagine having the entire internet be like look how ugly this fucker is because like i've got pretty good self-esteem and that shit would be devastating if like the entire internet was like that like oh my god well, people thought he was a supermodel and they were disappointed yeah there's a lot of fucking weirdos out there Man, these people fighting in losers around one is kind of crazy. Look like I should be in a boy band from 1998. <laughs> in the sense that I'm 30. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very true. Tyrus Flair, 51%. Not a Tomo, 49%. Mm. One of these days, Tyrus Flair is going to hit Firebomb, but uh, the speedy, speedy Astro into speedy Astro Gauntlet, I don't know. I don't know. Rough for him. He's basically lost the same matchup twice. Oh, hits the kick. Million Bites 42. Tyrus Flare is such a good build. This is so unfortunate that this is how it goes down. 0-2. Oh Had to fight the same build twice. That is really unfortunate. That's like a Nash bracket. That shit happens to me all the time. Boo the Undine and Jillian up next. So I, I know you're paying badge. Okay, so this one is very slightly different. It is under the cap, I think. Yeah, because intelligence is free, right? Yeah. Okay. Prediction is live. That seems to be done before midnight. Let's wrap this shit up. Tomorrow, oh my god, tomorrow I am doing a fucking press conference for the mayor. And, uh, you know, election season and all that shit. And the whole thing starts at like 2 o'clock, but I have to be there at 8 a.m. for some reason. Not hard DQ, no, just DQ'd the losers, and then they uploaded uh, the, the proper save file. So I have to be there like six hours before it starts. It's all set up. We set it up today. So I don't know why I gotta get there that fucking early. Uh, I don't know. It's silly. Anyway. So roundabout way of saying uh, we gotta end early tonight because I gotta get up early. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. Press conference for the mayor. It's important. Yes, I am. Who the Undine takes it? The arrows. You're being weird. Yeah, it's it's always really strange when somebody is like overly familiar. I don't get it. I don't understand that social dynamic. Okay. Boolean Dean's gonna take it, so Jillian's out anyway. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think it's a troll trying to bait. It's it is what it is. We got equals H up next. And we got, who's the other one? Hot dog status. Will he diving press his way to victory again? He might. He might. I went to Boolean Dean real quick. Thanks for getting in the proper one, Cody. Hopefully that fixed your other one too. Cause you know, you said it was a, uh, the, the entire file was wrong, right? So. As long as your Zilla is good, then we'll be good, you know? Prediction is live, just in case you don't know. Parasocial relationships? No, I'm into parasocial relationships, where we meet in a cafe and have ennui. Quel dommage. 
75% on hot dog status. People are liking the diving press chance. Or maybe the gust breath. Okay. That's a quick KO. I've never seen one. Charge miss at 80. I yikes. There's the bite. That's cloud hits. That's it. Hot dog status. He takes it. Lady Death and Escar Guru. Okay. That was that was very quick. Prediction is live for this, by the way. You love heavy kick? Well GG's. Yeah, I feel that. Don't say this monster's name, it'll weaken a sleeper agent somewhere. Oh man. I'm gonna have uh We're gonna have our own little splinter cell here. Oh my god, he's gonna get splinter celled. Oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. We got 66% on Escar Guru. Gang. So the 500 intelligence with no intelligence attacks? Turns out, that shit doesn't matter. We were doing some testing in the Discord, and we all know that having the attacking stats that your opponent is attacking you with reduces damage. But it seems like in DX, it only reduces damage um, as a modifier to your defense specifically. So if you have one defense, um, it doesn't take into consideration whether it's power or intelligence that you're being hit with, as long as your, your number is up here. Once you have some defense, then it starts taking it into consideration. It's really strange. I don't know. It's, it's dumb. So in like 3500, where you can run... Uh, 800 defense, you know, for a thousand. Um, having the off stat makes a bigger difference than when you have one defense. It's very strange. Uh, Selvius was doing a lot of testing on it. So if Escargu had zero intelligence, it'd still take about 170 and 147 from the flame there. because he has the 500 power. When you have zero defense, it uh, just checks for your highest stat, it seems like. It's really weird. Was that 2-0 uh, or was that 1-1? A lot of stuff going on here. GG. Gridat's always on top of it. Gridat always knows. So Eskar Guru with the 0-2? Oh no. Wait, did Escargoo... Yeah, Escargoo with 0 and 2. That's what happens when you miss. <laughs> Guess that's what happens when Niton misses. Salazar and Peril up next. Patch has a Salazar as well? Oh my god. Prediction is live, make your bets. Wait, it was 1-1? It was, right? It was 1-1. One, one. Your dad made a mistake. Oh no, pitchforks out. Anyway. Uh... Lady Death and Escar Guru. I could have sworn the snail won in game one. Thank you guys. Anyway, sorry that uh, I gave the points away. Hopefully, Lady Death wins this one. 
Her death final didn't kill, so she got revenge killed. That's right. That is what happened. Oh, electric stab doing big damage opener. Kick into a little bit. Stab miss at 88. Billion Whiffs is going to finish it. No, doesn't. She has a huge guts lead. Dodges a stab in death final range. Ooh, well, you know, at least I didn't have to do that. At least I didn't have to uh, feel bad. I didn't have to feel bad. Salas are in peril up again. Dodging two 80% just to make me look good? Maybe I am getting lucky. Okay. Prediction is live. That was like 480%. It was a lot. That was an extremely unfortunate round. Death final, unironically not bad and lightweight. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably not terrible. A lot of stuff in lightweight is good that wouldn't be good otherwise. Same thing with welterweight. In welterweight, you can go a complete fucko mode. That's a cool thing about having more than one format. That's what I like about it too. You get to uh, try some goofy stuff and still have a shot at winning. Firebomb. That's the first firebomb we've seen hit all day. Tyrus has been swinging it, but just could not land it. That's what happens when you hit it. <sighs> Gotta sneeze again. What is it? It's sneezing season. Potemkin and Skjoldorf. We do live in a uh, society. <laughs> I'm a clown of fate. <laughs> okay. So, Peril wins that one. Prediction is live here. Is the English release of UKMR going live on the 20th? Am I feeling? I'm feeling fine, but I can't stop sneezing or coughing. I've been fucking... It's been a full month of this shit. But, like, I actually feel fine, like, health-wise. Um, we don't actually know if the English English, like the Western release of UKMR is going live on the 20th because they've had nothing on any of their socials about it since they announced it. Uh, really, really fucking dropping the ball on it. But there is an English version releasing, so I don't know why they wouldn't just release that one as well. There is a, uh, the release for Southeast Asia is in English and it is releasing on the 20th. So you'll be able to play the game in English on the 20th, just maybe not with like the proper Western copy. But there's no region lock, so you know it doesn't doesn't matter. That's how I'm gonna be playing it. I have allergic rhinitis. I might. I think uh, I'm allergic to dust, and I've been doing a lot of rhinos, so that could be it. You think if the West gets delayed, we'll still get the pre-order stuff? Um, I don't know. Anyway, we got real power. He gets death smash, but he's got the grit. He's still in it. Ooh, slash combo. This is going to do 999 damage? 893. Damn, that's so much. Look at the great comeback. Yeah, I don't actually know. If uh, the West gets delayed and there's the pre-order stuff, I'm not actually sure. I still have to pre-order the... the... Not the I'm not going to get a physical copy. Unless they want to gift me one. I'm just going to get the... The digital... Oh my god. Gildorf getting fucked up, but he's still in it. Oh, you mean 100%? Exactly. One all. Going to game three. Death energy opener. Dash, dash slash misses. Death smash misses. Swing! Bada bada bada. Big damage there. A double punch, no grit this time, Potemkin. Maybe a clown of fate, but he's not clowning around in the arena. Felicity and not Atomo up next. 
That's part of the current gem of gaming is the region free aspect. Yes. Yep. It uh, sucks when they don't uh, localize it and you can't actually understand what's going on, like with the line, but. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for UKMR for the next little bit. I've already, like, I've decided I'm not working any more than I have to for that entire week. From the 20th till the 27th, that's going to be a lot of fun. So expect a lot of UKMR content. Got to get Science Patrol Mochi? Yeah, we do. Will I pick Moshi for my first monster, though? Probably not. I'm probably going to pick a random thing from the shrine and see what we get. That's the true experience, you know? Not knowing what your first monster is going to be is the true Monster Rancher experience. We got so lucky when we played uh, DX. We got Blue Kato. We got the speedrun monster, of all things. Just like the extremely easy mode choice. Could have been anything. But that's what we got. Uh, 76. On Felicity. Shoutouts to Big Lucker. You know. If you know, you know. Earthquake miss and Meow miss. There's the Meow. It hits. You know, it didn't do much. Withered like two guts. Oh, punch doing big damage on that crit. First UK MR turn is going to be so fucking. No one will know what they're doing. I think we'll figure it out pretty quickly, to be honest. I think if I give it two weeks, by the end of the second week, we'll have uh, like top tiers figured out. The thing is, your first monster is probably not going to be very good, but with so many people playing, some people are going to stumble onto the broken stuff, right? And then you can just copy that. Felicity takes game number one. Diving Press misses that time. I feel like it won me the game last time. Ooh, Nanatomo with a huge guts lead. Earthquake at 35. That's enough for a one shot, but she grits. She's still in it. She just has a huge guts deficit. The Diving Press, not a Tomo doing a lot of work to make sure Felicity gets back into this and wins it on the Grit comeback. Oh my god. What will you do without Legend Cup cheat sheets? They'll be built pretty quickly. Cena and Blubbert up next. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Want to use the eyeball guy that literally has eye holes in the mask visible? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he literally has eye holes in the, uh, in the costume. Is Rancher Rundown going to pivot to Kaiju Rancher Rundown? Um, I'm going to have a video on it just for, like, Rancher Rundown style for getting into it. But then after that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much fun it is. Very hard for me to say if I'm going to pivot my entire channel to a new game or not. I think we're going to be playing a lot of it, though. 91% on Blubbert. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it does look like a Monster Rancher game, unless it's, like, extremely bad. I think we're going to be uh, playing a lot of it. Rancher run down because my big ass knows she run down to my ranch. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? Am I having a stroke? Toy hammer miss. Charge is gonna land! Oh, Cena had a shot there, but missed the 84. <laughs> Why do they call it oven, macho? Magic cards lands. Charge lands. About 50% on both monsters. Look at that guts rate. That shit's fucked. It's the belly attack. Charge into surprise. Say goodbye to your guts, kid. Doesn't do much damage, but, you know. Ooh, Zilla Rush at 83 is gonna miss. That probably would've killed there. Uppercut, 92. 400 damage on the crit. I'll take it.
Macho, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what word monster is supposed to be in that sentence. Is it after big ass monster run down my mat? My ranch not no she. Okay. Cena gonna take that one while we're all confused by Macho. Freaking out. Go bigger and Booty and Dean next. So we got more Zilla action. So if you're a Zilla fan, you know, you can still cheer for this guy. Booty and Dean, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Ten, 10 to 1 odds on that? Damn, okay. Prediction is live. Can you believe they trust you with classes of children? I cannot. I, I think that that whole thing is a story. Man's like cooking meth or something, and he's just like, yeah, I'm a teacher. That's what I do. Man's living in a van out in the Pacific Southwest. Out in the California desert. Just cooking. Just breaking bad, you know. Hot Spring Showdown? Looks like it. Here we go. 87% on the undine that's big damage on the tidal wave though mojave cheese <laughs> oh icicle arrow it's really funny our very first fight night boo the undine did really really well and then she kind of didn't do well ever again but it's a good build it's so strong it's just you know maybe luck or matchups haven't been really rolling in her favor that much Nice arrow. This will be enough. Boo the Undine takes it. And our, our final match of the round. We got good luck, have fun, and TD. <laughs> I don't get why Boo does so bad every tournament. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. He's a good build. It's just Undine, you know? Undine's busted. Maybe worse in this format than in some others, but... Because a lot of her uh, strength comes from the fact that her good techs just have really good incidental hit rate. Like, it is not necessarily the reason to use them, but they're really good at, like, ripping apart speed monsters. So for formats that have more speed, she ends up, you know, being able to chunk really hard and also actually tag the speedy guys. Speaking of being able to tag the speedy guys, TD doesn't have any speed. <laughs> so good luck, have fun, even though it only has the four skill. Both these monsters are going to have a pretty hard time hitting each other. And Dean be bussin' as the kids say. That is what the kids say. No worms to betray you since you got in tonight? There's a, there's a worm. Unless I just don't understand what you're talking about. 93% on good luck, have fun. The time's at my place right now. It is 10.20pm. Uh, Rapid flick. Miss at 46%. Kiss miss at 30 at 36. That shit rhymes. Two jump lows miss at 28%. The flame at 18 though? Oh my god. Jab misses. Jump low misses. Ooh, the one-two punch. TD's gonna take game number one. You say probably I uh, Canada, but yeah. Forgot to sign a purple rain. Purple, right? Did you sign up anybody for Lightweight? Kick miss at 33. The punch miss. Rapid flick. Swing to miss there. Very even right now. Flame hits. Puts him in the yellow. Gives him power. Power flick. Ooh, good luck, have fun. Still losing. Swings the flick, needs one more. He swings it a third time. TD is going to take it. Good luck, have fun. One of the monsters, I think, had a great shot at winning the whole thing. Goes 0-2. 
Okay. So, going to the next round. Next up, we got... What do we got next? Gort and hot dog status. Okay. Uh, that went to TD. Okay. Fiction is live. Who do you like? I accept from Switch too. Yeah. Yeah. There is mindless. Is it mindless ape or mindless appy? Uh, yeah. There's a. Uh... If you join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. I'm always posting my uh my signups. Other people post their stuff in there sometimes too. Okay, 58% on Gort. Slap. It's big damage. Gives him power, though. Power 2 bites will kill and misses. Bro, it's gonna finish him off there. Got an Astro. A lot of Astros in Losers. It's a killing field for Astros. Two bites, misses. Punch hits at 68, it misses at 68, it hits at 66, oh my god, gift the prophecy, I'm telling you. I don't know when it's coming, but it's always right. Hits the two bites, ooh, big damage there, hot dog status in the lead, but Gort's got a great chance to hit, so hot dog status needs to get the KO here. Oh my god, diving press, made hot dog status an even bigger lead. Charge misses, Gort needs something actually substantial to win this now. The grit, not going to be enough, hot dog status takes game two. Have a few vids on how to prepare to race for tournaments. Yeah, I have a couple of like extremely beginner friendly videos. And then I have a couple of videos going over how to raise specific monsters. And then I have like the rancher rundowns, which are more like um, like in depth looks at the monsters. But like if you wanted to learn or if you want to see me raise a mochi or like a Zilla or a uh, arrowhead, I have videos like that up on my channel. Not every monster, because, you know, that's just going to take forever, but... Triangles and Lady Death up next. Gort takes that one. The first, the first two videos in the Rancher Rundown, even though, you know... A little bit of the info has been uh, debunked by this point. Like, we've done a lot more research since then. I, I have, um, in all my videos, I have retractions and stuff. Um, a little bit of the math is incorrect. Prediction is live in um, the second video, the offense and defense video. But when I talk about all that stuff in the maximum damage video, I, I correct it all. But yeah, the first two videos, even though, you know, I think... The voiceover is like a little bit sleepy and they're not my best stuff anymore. Uh, I think they're both, you know, a really solid intro. Actually, that's not true. I think the offense and defense video still holds up pretty well. I've gotten better at editing since then, but I think it's, you know, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick if I do say so myself. Lady Death, 83% on the votes here. Got this mouse. Is this annoying? Mouse, meow. Ooh, heal rate doing big damage. Parallel to fight a phoenix. You're late. First time your wife is working in the office, so I had to drive her. Seems like your mon is next week. Yeah, I, I didn't see your monster this week. Oops, clicked the wrong thing. Triangles wins game one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your monster's next week. Or next time we do this, I should say. God, we got three nights of tournaments in a row, but one of them's not Monster Rancher. Game two's live. Tomorrow we got Welterweights. Wednesday we have the One Must Fall tournament. That shit's gonna be so fun. I've been practicing this time, so, you know, hopefully I can win again. 
If you guys don't know, One Must Fall is a uh, DOS fighting game from uh, 1994 that I love. Uh, Triangles is going to take that one. Less than 500 chips on Triangles. Nobody believed in them. Helia and Peril up next. But yeah, in the One Must Fall tournaments, I've entered three monthlies. I've gotten third twice and first once. I would like to make that third twice and first twice. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets here. If I stream on release day, you may have to catch the VOD. 20th is your birthday. Well, I mean, feel free, feel free to catch it later. It's all good. Don't want to scum save a mod for tourney. That would be ultra boring. I mean, you could always not. But, uh, yeah, short lifespans make it pretty hard. You'll have to save scum a little bit. Peril. Like, if you're looking at these numbers... Helia didn't get 400 life on the first try. I mean, maybe. Very unlikely, though. Beak lands, it's not enough, though. Peril's got the guts lead, hits the tail lash, wins game one. Really surprised the firebomb didn't kill there, though. Tanked it. I think the... The slower guts rate's helping it a little bit. Oh my god, the heat beam in retaliation. Game three, just like that. Another heat beam, it's not enough, puts him in the yellow. He's got a huge guts lead, goes for the fireball, and this is gonna kill. 780 on the crit? Oh my god. Peril wins that one. Eliminates a phoenix. Who'd have thought? Look at us. Fergus and Potemkin up next. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Of Salamanders? Yeah, he's cool. Controversial topic. Do you think a new game in the series was actually Kaiju? What do you mean? Like they said they were going to have a new game in the series. New game in the series is Line. Monster Farm Line. We never save scum for comp. If I mess up on mine, you try a new one. You make a single mistake, it's over. Eight hours down the drain. They announced they will revive the series and bring something new. I don't know if they announced that. I think people assumed they would. I don't think that's actually been announced. I think they're asking if the monsters are actually people in suits or not. <laughs> if they're actually kaiju. Yeah, the all the monsters... Uh, even in-game, they hire a guy. If you have a Gonkyo on your ranch, it's actually a little man from Japan that gets paid to walk around on your ranch. He puts in an 8-hour shift and then he goes home at the end of it to his loving wife and kid. Anyway, Potemkin gets a foolery. Truly a clown of fate. Because it hits the Death Cutters immediately after wins anyway. Mind Blast doing big damage. There's the Death Smash with Anger. Fury. He's furious. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do anything? Aw, oh, Fury runs out. Mind Flare. Miss at 58. Potemkin still in it. Misses the 76, though. Stab throw at 45. Oh, there's the grit. Nine seconds left. Potemkin's got a lot of guts. Punches the horse. They both have one life. And the Death Cutter. Potemkin would have won on the, the... I guess it's not technically a grit tie, but yeah, he had one life left. Potemkin takes it. Oops. Potemkin is moving on. I don't think people... I'm surprised Potemkin's in losers this early more than anything else. Flan Fan and Felicity up next.
Okay, predictions live. Make your bets. I honestly thought Kaiju is just a co crossover for popularity in a mobile game, obviously, for the market as it is huge. But stopping on these two would be disappointing. Yeah, but I also feel like, you know what? I'm not going to be the guy to be like, give up hope. I'm not going to be that guy. If you are excited about the potential for a new game, I'm happy for you. I don't have a lot of faith in Tecmo personally to, uh, you know, handle the game properly. But Line looks like a step in the right direction. It's interesting that they're kind of pushing off development of the game to other companies, right? Like, I, I don't know if Bandai Namco is actually devving it or if they're just publishing it uh, for, what's it called? The um, Kaiju. But I know Lion is developing it on, uh, for their, their company. So it seems like they're just kind of handing out the IP to different companies to see who's, oh my god, fuck. That's the first cannon hit all day. To see uh, like what other companies can do with it, which is pretty sick. You know, that's an interesting way to use your IP if you're not going to do anything with it. Game number two. Insanity just sub. Thank you. Two months. Thank you for the two months. Meow meow. Big damage there. I hate the way my hair looks in the new lighting setup. I am 100% gonna go get my hair cut this week. I need like a better angle or something. Cause my forehead looks fucking gigantic from this angle. Look at that. That's a five head. That's an Undine head. No, it's still only a forehead. Okay, Undine still got me beat. She still got a bigger forehead. Game three. I'm also sweating because I got double the lights in here that I normally do. Oh my god, it's so hot. Why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt? My mindset is a new full console Monster Rancher game would be great, but we've done a good enough job keeping Monster Rancher 2 alive in content with our nice little community. It's still going to take me a million years to finish the Rancher Rundown series, so, you know, I'm excited for new games and the potential, but I'm pretty content. Not as content as I would be. Not as content as Flan Fan is for winning this. 4%. It's enough. Wins it 2 1. Sir Gauntlets and Cena up next. I'm over photosynthesizing. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh, my, my forehead just keeps growing. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I have uh, a receding hairline. It's still not terrible. Especially for my age, I know plenty of people like 10 years younger than me that have worse hairlines than me, but, you know, every now and then it's like, well, you're going bald, kid. Okay, so that went to the Flan Fan. Flan Fan 3000? Predictions live. Lion Kaiju is way more than most niche 20-year-old series get. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about both of them. I really hope Lion gets an English version because... You know, I'll be able to get through it playing it in Japanese, right? I'll be able to handle that. I've dedicated enough of my life to this game. I'm sure I could figure it out. Um, but the thing is, if it's not in English, it's really hard for me to sell the game to other people. That's, that's the real issue. If it's not in English, it's really hard for me to get my friends into it or other people who aren't necessarily into the series already. So that's what I'm worried about. I would love to have more people in the game, and it's a very hard sell if it's not in English. 80% on Sir Gauntlets. As a big Ultraman fan, getting this crossover is like Christmas. See, the thing, I don't give a shit about Ultraman, but it looks very funny. So, you know, I'm into it. Astonishment. Surprise misses. Surprise hits. They're gone. It's getting withered pretty hard. Can still win this. One second left. Has enough 
for Dive Assault, because that shit is cheap as hell, but doesn't get a chance to swing it. Cena wins game one. Astonishment opener. Here to all the gauntlets guts. Spiral Dive 77 misses. Oh my god. And get rid of all his guts again. Into the magic cards. Gauntlet's getting bullied a little bit. Cena with the, the six guts rate ghost. Making good. Ooh, rolling bomb a little bit of damage, but Cena is still in it. Cena is gonna take out Gauntlets. I think we've seen Cena do well, like one week it did really well. We're seeing that again. Uh Hold on, there we go. Thunderbird and Boo the o Undine. Boo the OD. This game is really good. You'll just need to have one hand on the control and the other holding your phone with Google Translate. Yeah, I can see how that'd be a big barrier. And the thing is, your phone is what you're playing the game on, so, you know, <laughs> that makes it difficult. Thunderbird. Okay. So that goes to Cena. Nobody bet on the ghost there. Prediction is live. We'll eventually memorize which buttons do what. Yeah, 100%. Um, I've played Monster Rancher 2 blindfolded. You're 100% correct. But like I said, it's about getting other people into it. That's the real issue. Since the rancher shown so far is a mini version of one of the kaijus, I hope we have the option to change rancher skin with other kaijus. Want to be the little penguin star dude? The literal penta penguin? Is Thunderbird related to Big Bertha? Thunder Bertha? The secret technique of dual fo phone wielding? I haven't, I haven't learned that one yet. Prediction? About 1k on both monsters. Lightning 76, Ooh, big damage there. Nice arrow and 83 is gonna miss. Killing stabs, will it be enough? It's not enough, Boo the Undine's still in it. Decent guts lead, but needs to land something big here. In a little bit of trouble. Nice arrow, crit would have been nice, wouldn't have killed. Another arrow, ooh, misses another one. Thunderbird loves dodging those 80s. That's his whole thing. You like Bemstar, Monterey is Melba. There's a couple of monsters that I think look really cool. Or maybe not, cool's the wrong word, but you know, they look fun. Gon Q is probably the one I'm most excited for. Dada is up there. And then, uh, I don't know, Ace Killer. And whatever, what's the guy that looks like he's just wearing a sheet? He's got like the scythe hands. Who's the guy that's wearing a sheet? Because <laughs> that shit's so funny looking. Who the Undine takes game number two. As someone who's been playing JP Fate Grand Order in six years, you'll eventually get used to it, yeah. Here so far as the dude is wearing a sheet with this king- That's what I'm saying, Macho! Oh my god! It's so funny. Dude didn't even try, Charlie Brown looking motherfucker. Nova? That's his name? Ooh, Ice Sword. Long fingers, yeah. I didn't know what you meant by King Fingers. I don't know what's going on with your uh, autocorrect tonight. Boo the Undine is going to take that one. He gets power, but it's not enough. You missed Helia. Lost two times. He did okay, though. All of those, all the fights he had were very close. Beat Boo the Undine, who we just saw win. Then had two hard fights. Zosma and Titi. Ooh, old heads fighting. Have we seen this matchup before? I think we might have. Okay, prediction is live here. That eyeball guy with the mask holes? Yeah. So the eyeball is Gon Q. Yeah, the, the sheet guy, the monster is mixed like they do in Monster Rancher, right? So that has a Gon Q subtype. Gon Q is like, like if Shumagorath was like walking around 
or he looks like Soul Caliber or a uh, Soul Edge. You and I usually have pretty similar taste in monster design. Yeah, it's uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss betting on your girl, and so did everyone else. We got a thousand on Zozma and nothing on TD. Flame hits. Zozma betters in shambles. In shambles, I say. He gets the grid. He's not out of it yet. It's the gritty. It's the straight. Two more will do it. Kiss. Very funny time to do kiss when you just need one hit to win. There's the one two punch. Zozma gets hit four times in a match. Well, game number two. Straight, ooh, more than half of her health. Another crit? Heal rate 48%, misses that one. One two punch can do a good chunk of damage. Ooh, that one two punch misses. Mine's better. Ray at 48, misses there. Kiss, awful time to use Kiss, another straight. She grits though, she's not out of it yet. Straight misses. One two punch, it's not enough. Those my takes, game number two. All about King Joe and Savenger. Savenger looks cool. King Joe's so funny too. I don't know what's going on with his head. Wish they included the four-legged kaiju. I what's the Bemulon or whatever the one that's just like uh or is Bemulon one that's in the game? Who's the guy that's like he looks like Apokarimon's like body? Like, he just looks like a cube with, like, shit sticking out. So this one's gonna take game two. It's not Bamular, that's the one that's already in the game. It's like, Bull something. Or like, Bolton? Is it Bolton? Yeah, it's Bolton. Oh, I guessed right! Bolton's so fucking stupid looking. I would love to raise Bolton. Let's take a look at this real quick. Bulbmon? Yeah. This thing. I don't know what's going on here, but this is a great monster. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm a fan. I like this. I would raise that thing. Bulbmon kind of looks like Apokarimon's butt, too. Yeah. Bolton is a terrifying monster in concept. <laughs> okay, so that goes to... Jim Beezy's Monster Sozma. TD goes down. Not without a fight, though. Just couldn't land anything Game 3. Game 2 is very close. Okay, I've updated scores. Next up, we got Gort and Triangles. Oh. Gort. If we finish early tonight, I think we're just gonna end the stream. So if we finish at like 11.30 or something, usually we'd do something at the end, but because I gotta be up so early for work tomorrow, I uh, I think we're gonna call it. We got more tournaments tomorrow. Ultra coughing? Yeah, kinda. Can't wait to see Bolton's attacks. You know, I mean, Bolton's not in the game. Right. Nix Ramen, thank you for the follow. You're at work on Night Shift today? Yeah, I I have to be at work in 10 hours. 9 hours from now. 50-50. We're getting little baby bets. I think people are getting betted out. Earthquake misses at 62%. Brow hit misses at 62% as well. Triangles has been swinging Cyclone a lot. Oh, 420. 420 in the dab, or in the muscle pose. The shooting star pose. You know, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna stream more this week. Yeah, I'm streaming tomorrow and Wednesday. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
Unless work gets in the way and then, you know, I always have a ma makeup day somewhere. But this week is my regular old schedule. Samurai kick, 54%. That misses. Or it's got a shot. He takes a shot and he misses. Chop combo, regular old chop. 10 seconds left, you need something big. Diving press, that's going to help out triangles. But he decides to go for nothing. Gort takes game number two. Game number three. Cyclone opener, it's enough. Triangles wins it. Not quite a frame one, but pretty close. Triangles is moving on. Peril and Potemkin. My mic will be getting a workout. Trying to duck those plosives. Okay, prediction is live. Both of these monsters are very spooky. Pigmon? Oh, uh... Yeah, he's in it. Well, is Pigmon and Garamon the same thing? Or are they different? Because they look the exact same. They are? Okay. Is pig just- is Gara a pig in Japanese? Let me look this up. It's not. <laughs> He's got the- <laughs> dude, the fingers are so gross. Okay. 72% on Potemkin. People are betting big on him. Deathcutter missed at 74 though. The tail's gonna land. Into the fire breath, 50-50 on that. Almost 50-50, Buta. Yeah. Tail lashes, Peril. Peril's doing work, man. Death Cutter at 81 misses. Death Smash can do a little bit of damage, but Potemkin is in a little bit of trouble here. Claw at 63, Peril takes Potemkin down game one. Game two, here we go. Five balls opener, that's a KO. There's the grit though. Potemkin can come back. Ooh, good damage on the death punch. A lot of withering there. The foolery into the death cutter misses it again. Two death cutter misses. Really, really sad for Potemkin. The death punch misses at 79 as well. Peril would be long dead by this point. Jumping fire misses on the 50 50 that time. Death cutter lands finally, but there's the grit. It's not over yet. Potemkin will win on the tie if he doesn't get KO'd here, so Peril needs the KO. Death Smash gonna come out first, going to game three. Game three, here we go. Firebomb opener. Firebomb closer. 28% of you bet on Peril, and Peril's gonna take it. Plant Fan and Cena up next. No Mega Fisto, Mega Fisto. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? <laughs> Miss Betty and your girl, but glad to see your third down with top tiers. She's doing well. Dodging a lot of 70s. It helps. Dodging the 70s definitely helps. Um. Stream buffered and it was over. Yeah, that happens. Peril vs. Haribo next. Oh, boy. Wow, that means he made it that far, eh? Good for Peril. Is he went into losers round one, right? Yeah, Peril lost round one. One, two, three. Three wins. So the worst he can do is three and two. He's got a winning record regardless of what happens. Dodging tank is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Speaking of which, will we see some of that in this match? 80% of you on Land Fan. Magic cards hits. Four second KO for Cena. Peril's a good mon. It's 
So Tyrus Flare is the exact same mono in 0-2 today. It is a good mon, but you gotta get a little bit lucky. Into the cannon. I'll do it. That is enough damage. Barely enough. Game three, here we go. They're swinging. Two whips. Ha cha. Two whips. Ha cha. Seen it down into the green. Gets hit with the pierce. Uppercut gonna do big damage. There's the grit though. Charge finishes it off. The ghost is moving on. That was a three game set. Boo the Undine. Wait. Yeah, Boo the Undine and Zozma up next. Kept waiting to see Tyrus do better. Tyrus has done well in the past, right? I think it's a really spooky build. It's got everything it needs to do well. It's got a good guts rate, good damage, good nukes, good accurate stuff. Okay, prediction is live. <laughs> Some of the Lilac Cup mons doing good. Which ones is seen a Lilac Cup on? I think it was in the DXBL season one first. Before the Lilac Cup existed. Maybe not, but... I'm pretty sure it was around Season 1. Okay. Violetta is... Oh, yeah, Violetta... In uh, Top 8. Okay, Boo the Undine and Zosma. We got 91%. People have just given up on betting on this. They're just like... I don't know, man. I'm losing too much money. I said I was going to take it. Boo the Undine takes it. game one. Found out you have this emote. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a good one. That's like this for me. Here's one of my, my favorite emotes that uh, I have. Just tuning in. How's it going? It's going well. Your monster uh, is out, but did pretty well. The match between your monster and my monster was insane. Zosma's going to take game number two. The Blastoise is still undefeated. He's, he's flexing. Betting on mobile is not practical. It's not. You need to be like paying attention. Ooh! Crits for exact damage. Oh my god. Boo the Undine. Ah. You did it to him. Big Bertha and Triangle's up next. I think I'm probably going to clip um, that one. Also, if you guys want to help me out, um, if you ever see a hype match or anything that's kind of interesting, please, please, you'd be doing me a huge favor by clipping it. Because if I have to like wade back through videos to like, or like keep notes of everything that I think is interesting, like I know it's like asking you guys to like actually do work. But uh, if you can clip it, maybe I'll make a clip command. It would, uh, it really helps me out. Prediction is live, by the way. Like, in, in a way bigger way than you would expect. Even if it's not, like, the craziest thing in the world. If you're just like, oh, that was interesting. I like that. Everyone said, clip that. No one clipped. It happens all the time. Man, when I'm in streams, I'm clipping shit constantly. Clip reel. Um, th there's a reason I want clips. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in the Discord at a later date, I think. Got a couple of win. It's better than he's done quite a while. Maybe Loot will do better. Don't like his text that much. Man. He's downplaying his second monster already. Triangles. 58%. Cyclone opener. Good damage. Minus 14 guts because of the anger. God. Big withering. Triangles just not able to attack again. And withered too hard. Ice wave. That's enough. Big Bertha. Attacks four times, gets the KO. I 
I'm not gonna make a clip reel, but it's it is a lot of stuff to deal with. TXPL commercial. Rolling chop. Oh my god. There's the grit though. Still in it. Frantic rush. Good damage. That shit never crits. It's a sharp tech, but you never see it crit. They call them fingers, but you never see them fing. Rolling chop finisher triangles takes it to game number three. Here we go. Ice spikes doing a little bit of damage. A little bit more. Triangles has a lot of gut saved up though. It'd be hard for Bertha to win this one. Another samurai kick. Triangles takes it. Okay. Haribo and Peril up next. I think Triangles has a chance to make top six. Meaning top three tonight. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Restwell, big lady. Yeah, she's a great monster. I'm a little biased in saying that she's good, but you know. Still have your favorite Monster Hunter Battle League Season 2 VOD in your favorites on YouTube. The one where Do You Know the Way and God's Plan made top four. That shit was nuts. I gotta look back at that. Send me the link to that one. Because I don't have uh I don't have thumbnails for any of that. It's all just template stuff from back then. Fifty-seven and forty-three. Airbow with a slight lead in the bets. Fire breath hits. Five second KO from peril. Oh my god. Twenty seven percent chance, it's not very good. Ooh. But you know. If it lands, it lands. Somersault, Peril well into the green, almost into the yellow. Arabo needs one big attack here to win it. Peril needs to land something big. Can't just land tail, as it lands tail. Sting, it's not enough to kill. That shit does no damage. Shit does negative damage. I think it actually healed him. Arabo's gonna take game number two. Again, we've seen 27% chance to hit will instantly win Peril the match. Goes for it again and hits again. There's the grit though, so Peril, not out of it yet. Good damage there. Puts him into the green with a crit. Peril's got a couple of attacks with more than 50% chance to hit. Fire Breath is not one of them though. Bite at 78, good crit there. Next hit wins for both monsters. The Sting, that's going to do it. Haribo with the world's longest grit comeback. Got hit frame one. Nine seconds left on the clock. Oops. Haribo takes it 2-1. Proud's the go bigger go home mentality. He's uh, kind of sick. Kind of sick nasty. So Haribo still in it. Peril did good. Just short of top eight. Just short of top eight. Peril gets ninth place. Stinky and Cena up next. Been a while since we've seen Stinky. Okay. Okay, prediction is live. Closer than you thought it would be. Good job. Yeah, I, uh, you know, landed 227s. If you didn't get grit, that's all. It's like what, like a 20% chance for grit to go off there? 25, something like that. With zero defense, so. What are you going to do? One win from making top four, but they were... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they made top four. I need the I need to find the one where Arthur cost me all my chips. The one where I bet against Arthur. And then Arthur made the god play, the god run. And I lost like fifty thousand chips or something like that. Okay. 
67. 67% on Cena. Arthur the Goat. You guys all talk about Gift of Prophecy and all that shit. How come I lost 50,000 chips betting on a, a mochi with 100 power? Like, just his offensive stats for like 100. Frost Claw miss. Magic cards. Doesn't have a very good chance to hit. Stinky's pretty speedy. Missing a lot of moves though. Hits the Aerial Claw. Remember the night where I cut my webcam cord? <laughs> Um, I, I think that was, a uh, I was ranching when that happened. I actually, you know what? Speak of the devil, I was cleaning up, and I found it. I found the cord I cut. I don't know how that didn't end up in the garbage when it, you know, I first cut it, but it's right there. Wait, who won that one? Magic cards misses. Cena won that one, right? Or Stinky, sorry, yeah. I fully meant Stinky and I said Cena. The double astonishment? Oh my god. Okay, we're going to game three. Stinky, uh oh. I'm uppercut? Losing him with two life. He's still in it. First Cloud 80 misses? Oh my god. Can't land anything. It's decent damage on the basics, honestly, but like he needs to land a lot of attacks. Opponent's got a hundred guts. Toy hammer, forty percent. Cena's gonna take that one. Stinky missing a lot of eighties. Some of them more meaningful than others, but either way, Cena moving on. Bigsley and Boo the Undeen up next. The Withering Ghost. Hasn't had a chance to play too many Withering matchups. It's done a couple, and it's done well on them, but... Okay. This is our last match, I believe. Prediction is live. Before top 8, yep. So winner of this makes it to top 8. Wanna make an animated emote of Kato blowing smoke rings? Not sure if it's 2S friendly. Showing a cat smoking. <laughs> I mean, Twitch has banned people for worse, for, uh, for, like, much lighter things than that, so maybe. Forgot you have to work early tomorrow, so you're just gonna go to bed, watch the Vodra Top 8 later. Hey, thanks for tuning in, JP. I thought you already did, though. I thought you went to bed, like, forever ago. Were you just AFK? Or, like... Anyway. Appreciate the support, as always, my man. 72% on Bigsley. We got way more people betting on Boo the Undine, though. So we got a lot of fans of Boo the Undine. They just aren't willing to put their money on the line, you know? Weapon. It's for a little bit of damage. Prox Anger. Boo the Undine's got a shot to get back into this. Ice Swords lands. Oh, that doesn't do nearly enough damage, though. I don't know what I was expecting from the Ice Swords there, but that move's not that strong. It's only like 15 force. Twister Kick. Good damage. Decent amount of withering. Ooh, the crit arrow. There's the anger. Oh, bad time to get anger, my man. Some ice swords. Boolean Dean backs off. This is the 70% spin kick hits. Boolean Dean has anger now. Missed the ice sword. Hits that one. Jesus. Comes down to this. Dolphin blow, 40%. Kind of a risky opener. The fire juggler hits, but there's the grit. Bigsley has a lot of really accurate attacks, and just like that, he's gonna take it. Bigsley wins that one. Two, one. She went for the dolphin blow. Pretty hype move. You don't see it very often, but uh, she does lose. So next up, we got triangles and Haribo. We are now in top eight. Okay, 
Running out of times to bet. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you think will win? The Triangles or Haribo? When the shit hits the fan, is he still a fan? Kendrick Lamar, Macho Cheese, Michael Scott, Wayne Gretzky, Moose Bones. Moose Bones is such a funny tag, the more I think about it. I'm uh, in correspondence with somebody talking about uh, some charity streams coming up at the end of the month that I'm going to be partaking in, and they're always like, hey, Moose. Like, that's, that's how they enter... That's how they start the, the email, and I had to be like, hey, <laughs> you can call me Nash, it's okay, man. Nash, if the DXBL ran at max stats format, you can call it overweight? Oh, God. Triangles is going to take that one, by the way. Cyclone missed, 29. Gale Ash can do a little bit of damage. Triangles is putting on a great show. Really big show. Just the bite at 78, oh no. Every miss for Haribo is extremely bad. The triple cyclone miss though. Chop at 29 as well. Two lashes. Not enough to KO, but four seconds left. I don't know if Triangles can muster up enough guts to get the KO. And he doesn't. So we're going to game number three. Chop combo. Oh, do we see a grit? We don't. Triangles is going to take that. Chop combo doing big damage. Haribo gets 7th. 7th? Yeah, 7th. Genki gets 5th at absolute worst. Cena and Bigsley up next. Okay. Prediction is live. The one time you don't bet against the worm, it's destiny. It's fate. It's what happens. You're destined to never bet right on worm. We've had a high place in Gabu. Gabu always does pretty well. I don't know if we had a Gabu in like the finals of anything, but we have Gabu make like top eight pretty consistently. It's a pretty solid, like, top of mid-tier monster. It's good. Like, when we ran the low-tier tournament, like, b and Zoom and uh, Gaboo were just, like, wrecking house. That was, like, their tournament. 64% on Bigsley. Twister kick opener, half of his health gone, but there's the anger. Look at that guts rate. Look at them guts. If he can get anger proc here on Bigsley, he's in a great spot. Ooh, magic cards hits. There's the anger, 64%. Cena play into his advantages and his opponent's weaknesses. Bigsley with the anger is very, very spooky. Brick cut miss. Fire juggler's gonna hit. How much? 504 because of the guts lead. Just like that. Game three. He tried to finish it a little too quickly. It's at that time though, 192, not enough to kill. Weapon throw gonna do 117 on a crit. That's actually pretty solid for 12 guts. Spin kick puts him in the yellow. Toy hammer crits for 114. Damn. These losers monsters are going on a tear. Bigsley and Yeah, I mean Haribo had Really good run up until that point too. Triangles is what? One, two, four wins and losers right now. Cena is how many wins and losers? One, two, three, four, five. Cena lost round one and is now guaranteed fifth place. That's crazy. So we got to move back up to winner's bracket because we got to see who fights Triangles and who fights Cena. So first off, we got Clank Norris and Phoenix Azul. Reminder, the winner of this Makes top six. 
well, I mean, they, they make top six regardless, but my point is, they advance to the finals. The top three monsters today and the top three monsters in the second bracket we run will all advance to the lightweight finals. So that's what you're betting on right here. You're betting on... Predictions live, by the way. You're betting on who you think is going to make top six. Is it Clank Norris or is it Phoenix Azul? Both of these monsters are terrifying. I am very glad, you know, with all respect to Violetta or Violetta, I am very, very thankful I'm not fighting one of these two monsters for that shot because I don't know, man. I think this is a much stronger side of the bracket than Violetta and uh, Big Uncle Pete is. 60% on Clank Norris. 6k, damn. Last shot opener, crits for half health. Into the kick, that's gonna do a little bit. Not nearly enough to kill though. Ooh, Beak's gonna do a lot though. Misses the second one at 75. Hits there for a crit. Phoenix Azul takes game one. The 200 speed, maybe not quite enough. Flash Shana doing nearly as much without the crit. Talons miss at 78 and at 75. Big miss at 68. Oh, but the kick miss at 94, that's a little payback. Two weapon throws, putting him in the yellow. Procs the anger. Clank Norris is in a great spot right now. It's another weapon throw and a fourth. Damn. Clank Norris procs that anger, gets a great chance to hit. Ends up taking him out. Game number three comes down to this. Fire wave 69%. It's not enough to kill. There's the real. Weapon throw is going to hit, but now real has worn off. Now real has worn off. He's got to watch out. Blast shot's got 98% chance to hit. That's going to do a grip of damage. Clank Norris. Moving on. Guaranteed a top three. That's going to be a fun monster for Mads to draw. Hey, mindless save. Thanks for tuning in. Clank Norris advances to winner's finals. The real proc with zero guts left, it's terrifying when it happens. Very unfortunate. So, uh, Phoenix Azul, not out of the tournament yet. Not out yet. Has to fight... Cena, I believe. No, has to fight uh, Triangles. Big Uncle Pete and Violetta up next. Okay, same situation. Winner of this, guaranteed to make it. Loser will have to win a couple more fights. Here's how big of a difference it makes. The winner of this, guaranteed top three. Loser of this has to win one, two, three more times. No, sorry, twice. Has to win two more times. So it's either win now, and you're good, or you gotta go to losers, you gotta fight Cena, who's doing great, by the way. And then you gotta beat the winner of Phoenix Azul and Triangles, which also doesn't sound like much fun. Third match was a scenario I envisioned when you built Clank. It worked out. Having the huge guts lead definitely helped. 47-53, pretty even on the bets. Violetta with a little bit of an advantage there. Gus Slash opener, a little bit of damage. Ice Wave 25%. Not going to have a very good chance to hit that, so of course he's going to swing it over and over. <laughs> Ooh, good damage on million stabs into the Rush Slash. Double slaps at 33, that's going to miss. Twister Slash at 61, misses. Punch combo, 22 hits! 472 damage, 17 seconds left on the clock. Violetta needs to get a KO here. 10 seconds left. Goes for the double slaps, 5 seconds on the clock. Million stabs at 74, gets the KO as time runs out. It's the 22, so I'm not too upset about that, all things considered, you know? Ice Spikes at 41, that's going to land for 140. Twister Slash at 65, misses. Has not landed with that yet. A double Rush Slash, Ice Wave at 24. He likes swinging it, you know? I taught him well. Doesn't understand time and a place, but... Ooh, hits that time, there's another Grit. Violetta will not go down, more Rush Slashes. 10 seconds left on the clock. Is this shit gonna happen again? What the fuck is with that move? 
That's the second time I've lost that way. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Well, you can't beat a monster that grits that often. I mean, what are you gonna do? So, congratulations, oh, Violet is moving on. Marrying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. See, Pete can't beat Haribo. Exactly. That's what I've been saying. Oh, no. I need your help. Marrying oh, his God. body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. That was crazy. Congratulations to Violetta. Moving on. I think my monster hit enough, like, low accuracy moves there that I can't be too stressed about it. Crazy way to lose. Crazy way for that to lose, but, uh, either way. And I was thinking too, there's 15 seconds left on the clock. I don't think it can do enough damage. But I wasn't thinking it was going to attack four times frame perfectly in a row. So, you know, that was my mistake. Prediction is live between Phoenix Azul and Triangles. Big Uncle Shish Kebab, you got fucked up. These chips came with extra salt. I'm not actually that salty. That was a very, very entertaining match. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want it to be fun. That was personal for Violetta. But that's exactly what Thunderbird did too. Thunderbird was losing and then got grit and then hit a billion uh, dash slashes in a row. 67% on Phoenix Azul. Cyclone opener, 260. To the Rapid Beaks. To the Rapid Beaks. Pretty close to next hit win situation. Ooh, Talons is going to take it. Phoenix is will takes game one. Game number two. Oh, I don't think Phoenix is going to lose that one. He uh, tanked that pretty well. He's got a lot of guts saved up. Triple Beaks. Oh, into the Talons. The crit is going to do it. The Boyd is still the Void. He's still in it. He's still alive. 2-0. So congratulations to Genki for making it this far. I don't know whose monster that actually is. It's all, there's no way in, nobody in the community named Genki. They just named their file that. Very close. Is this the only Phoenix? No, there is two. Okay. Big Uncle Pete and Cena. Big Uncle Pete has anger. He hasn't proc'd it too often. I'm sure he'll get a chance to in this matchup. Cena does a ton of withering. Whether or not he'll actually proc it is another story, but he'll get the chance to. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Maybe Genki and Mochi from Twitch? Maybe. Okay, who do you guys like in this one? <laughs> you guys are liking uh, Big Uncle Pete? It's pretty close. We got 56% on Big Uncle Pete. Magic cards opener, 74%. No, uppercut. The Vigor. The one, two, straight and retaliation. A little bit of damage there. Punch combo. Ooh, not enough to kill. Senna's got the toy hammer and double slaps, though. That's going to do it. Big Uncle Pete takes a game one. 30 seconds left on the clock. Game two. Here we go. Surprise opener. It hits. Good withering there. Ice wave and retaliation. Two at 23. Ice spike's not going to do much. Cena's got a lot of guts. Hits the charge. Into astonishment. 95. Oh, there's the anger. Big Uncle Pete with a lot of guts now. One, two, straight. Is it enough? 134 on the crit. Needed the crit. Big Uncle Pete. Moving on to top four. Cena gets fifth place. So Triangles and Cena. Cena made a crazy run. Lost round one. And then won one, two, three, four, five in a row. So it went five and two. That is a fantastic record. So, you know, Kaneki... I'm a fan of your monsters, and that, uh, you should be proud of how well you did. Unfortunately, losing round one makes it so much harder to make it out. Okay, now, now it's my guy versus the big dog. 
Phoenix Azul. Me and Bash. Nash and Bash. Winner of this makes it in. Loser will be the saltiest man on the planet. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like here? Who do you like here? Is it glory or is it almost? I'm okay with either. Not okay with either. I want to win so badly. But, you know, getting fourth would be okay. I, I'm. It's not as good. It's definitely not as good as getting third at worst and moving on to top six. But, you know, there were a lot of good monsters today. And, you know, I'm okay with how Big Uncle Pete did. What's funny about Big Uncle Pete is he has never done well in tournament. He has gone two and two or one and two in every single tournament he's been in. And I was just like, I know he's good. I know he's got a good build, and he just could not ever perform. So, you know, I'm okay with it right now. Fourth is okay, Copium. That's what I'm saying. Firewave opener, 88%. Crits. That's my luck. Am I going to get fucking crit frame one again like I did? Ice wave miss at 71. Come on, man. You're doing so well. Into the beak. Big Uncle Pete's got Guts lead. He needs to do something bigger than double slaps, though. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that was fucking stupid, but whatever. Okay, 2-0. I have grit, by the way. My guy's got grit. All my monsters have grit. You wouldn't know it. Clank Norris and Violetta up next. Fourth place, always a bridesmaid, eh? Oh no, I need your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. Prediction is live. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, it's uh, he went out in uh, big Uncle Pete fashion. He missed Ice Wave. His whole his whole thing. Up until that point, in every tournament he's ever been in, is missing 70% ice waves to lose the match. So, I procced grit twice last week. Oh yeah, and how'd I do last week? It's a shame. The crit too? Come on, he would have survived without the crit. You don't need to be that mean. Very unfortunate. Anyway, congratulations to our top three. We got Clank Norris, Violetta, and Phoenix Azul. I'm not really surprised about Clank Norris and Phoenix Azul and Violetta ended up being a pretty good monster this tournament. Last shot misses. Kick miss at 41. Rush slash miss though. Kick at 41 misses again. Violetta hitting everything. Doesn't actually have that great of a chance to hit, but just not missing. Kick miss at 40. Hits at 37 though. Down to half health. Has a ton of guts. Missed the Twister Slash. Hasn't really had luck with that move in particular. Ooh, the Rush Slash to finish it off. One more. This is going to be an interesting batch. Yeah, there's going to be a uh, fun, fun six monsters for this, I think. Spin Kick misses. Spin kick, 39% misses. Can't land anything, eh? Clank Norris does have the low skill. That's definitely not helping him at all. Violetta, going to Grands. And this is kind of interesting. I think Clank Norris has a good matchup against uh, Violetta. Or it has a good matchup against Phoenix Azul. Phoenix Azul has a good matchup against Violetta. And Violetta has a good matchup against Clank Norris. So I think Violetta's probably going to win this on... That alone. We'll see how it ends up though.
Uh, Clank Norris and Phoenix. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you think has got this? Violetta was twice second places on the Lilacs. That's cool. So it's a pretty consistent monster then. Who did it have to fight? Blank's got low skill. I had to fight Big Uncle Pete, who, you know. Had a pretty good chance to hit, and hit pretty often, but lost anyway. Uh, Haribo, low skill build. Sir Gauntlets, risky attacks. Escargoo, didn't land a single attack. Well, I won one game, but didn't land much. And then uh, Jillian, didn't really land anything either. So didn't really have to fight anything with high skill. Eh? I would, Big Uncle Pete was the highest skill monster it's fought. That definitely helps when you have high speed. 64% <laughs> on Phoenix Azul. She built well for the format, because everyone else was building to beat tanks. And it's just like, well, Violetta, pretty good. It's definitely your favorite Pixie subbreed. There's a, a couple of cool ones. Pigzilla's up there for me. Clank Norris takes game one. Oh, Tal's hit a lot, damn. Mm, more Talons. Give him the clamps. Phoenix Azul takes game two. He's swinging. Mad swinging. Weapon throw for a little bit of damage. Prox Anger immediately. Oh my god, that is so much on a crit. Clank Norris has Fury though. Dodges the Talons. It's going to do a lot of damage. Crit weapon throw for almost 300 damage because of Fury. Spin kick lands. Clank Norris is going to win that one. And move on up to fight Violetta again. So, Grand Finals in regular motion, as is tradition. And we're going to get out of here a little bit early tonight. I said 11.45, and uh, we're going to finish around 11.30, so 11.35 even. So congrats to Nova, congrats to uh, Bash, and congrats to Sared. All your monsters are moving on. What a fun night tonight. I'm happy my monster did so well. Okay, prediction is live. Can Clank finally hit Blast Shot? We'll find out. Okay, here we go. What do we have? 71% on Clank Norris. Got slash opener misses. Rush Slash misses too. Ooh, Twister Slash finally hits, but Clank Norris has so much guts saved up. It only does 100. Blast Shot lands for 300 damage on the crit. Game 1 goes to Clank Norris. So he didn't even need the crit. Would have killed without it. What do we got in retaliation? Anything? Violetta gonna attack again. Spin kick at 41. This is there, Violetta building up those guys. Up to 60. Million stabs at 66%. That's gonna do a decent amount. 170 on the crit. Not too bad. Proxy anger though. Look at that guts regen now. Weapon throw at 36. Misses. Still has pretty substantial guts lead. Blast shot misses. Weapon throw misses as well. Clank Norris missing everything. Kick at 41. Violetta getting out of the way of everything. Twister Slash gonna miss at 46. Ooh, goes for it again. 
0-2 on that. Cut in two on the 50-50. Puts Clank Norris into the yellow. Doesn't do any withering, so no chance for an anger proc. Weapon throw going to do just under 100 damage. Needs another one to win it. Keep swinging. Ooh, that's going to do it. Clank Norris resets the bracket. 2-0. So, we have bracket reset. We have one more prediction for the end of the night. Prediction is live. Rush feels so slow in normal speed. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, man, I got hit four times in a row with that. If that was in regular speed, I would feel, uh, I would feel very bad. Just watching that slowly kill me. Just, oh no. Okay. Grand finals reset. 50-50 exactly. We got 6.9k. 6,900 on both monsters. That's perfect. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Couldn't ask for a better split. Blast slash opener. Blast shot, I should say. Twister slash. And just can't land that, eh? It's not very accurate, so I get it. Oh, Twister kick is going to land, though. 243. Violetta doesn't want a grid anymore? What's up with that? I would have gladly taken this. I would have taken the no grits. Come on. Wake up, Violetta. Last shot, dodge again. There's a twister slash in retaliation. 260 on the crit. Clank Norris just above the yellow. Cutting two at 76%. Dodges it, gets out of the way. That anger is making his guts go up crazy. 44 and kick. Hits it. It crits for 205. There's the grit. There's the Violetta we all know and love. Twister Slash misses there. Like Norris needs one hit to win it. 49% on air shot. That Slash puts him into the yellow. 70 life left on Clank Norris. Most attacks Violetta has will kill, but the kick is going to take it. Clank Norris is the champ. Violetta goes down. 2 oh. So, Violetta just not able to take a game against them at the very end. So the tournament is over. That was a lot of fun. Congrats to Nova, Serd, and Bash once again. <sighs> so sad I got fourth. It's so close. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't win every time. Or ever. Norris is pretty good for lightweight. Yeah, it, who would have thought if you take uh, the best monsters in the format, you'd win with them, eh? You gotta name it Norris, that's the real thing. Very well fought tourney. We had some crazy shit. Let's, like, let's look at this. I got four and two, which, you know, it's not that crazy. There's monsters that did worse than me. Cena and Triangles, specifically. Virus, thank you for the follow. That, like, made huge runs in losers. Good for both of them. This 7-1. and one. That's pretty funny. Violetta with the 6 and 2. Only loss was the double loss to Clank Norris. Phoenix Azul did fantastic as well. I lost to Violetta and Phoenix Azul, so I'm okay with that. I lost to the two monsters who made it in. Cena made this crazy run, as did Genki. Good for both of them. Very unfortunate. They were two wins away. They needed to win one, two, and they would have made it. And then down here, this 33 versus 25 doesn't really make a difference. It's just some people got lucky and got buys and some oh, didn't. Penguin! Thank you, thank you. I just realized I don't have the, the thing up. I'm talking about this, and I don't actually have the thing up. Uh, Clank Norris, look at this. The 7 and 1, 6 and 1, 5 and 2, 4 and 2, 5 and 2, 5 and 2. 3, 3, 4 and 2. Booley Undine lost round 1, made it all the way to top uh, 12. Same thing with Peril. Good for both of them. 
Fantastic. Is Welterweight tomorrow? It is tomorrow. So if you guys like Big Uncle Pete, maybe you like Uncle Cracker as well. It is the week of uncles. Um, tune in tomorrow. You'll get uh, some Welterweight action.